<laughs> Where is the Altus Plateau? Have you seen I those bathrooms? I don't think they're in America, but there are these I've bathrooms seen a bathroom before. in public. Like, like think of like a phone booth, right? But it's a bathroom, it's a bathroom. and it's pure and glass. It's pure glass. But the second you but lock the, the door, the glass oh, yeah, like, fogs yeah. up. <clears throat> I've seen those. Those are cool. Those are cool, but I would not ever, ever, ever go into one. I would. I can't, like, it's hard for me to pee in public as it is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to watch people as you pee? No. Like, oh my god, they're all staring at me. They're all just looking at me. This is weird, you know? It's some kind of trick. It's actually not double-sided glass. Yeah. It's just glass. <laughs> it's just glass. It like makes this like noise that it is like being double-sided. Double-sided. But it's just like oh okay. It, yeah no. Everyone sees nope. you. And then you're the person that gets arrested. Yeah. Get put on a list. You fucking pervert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah. Yeah. Good there, friend? Yeah. I'm making my bed. If only you could see the atrocity that is happening right now. And I'm glad I can't. Grandma doesn't want it. Uh oh. What was that? That's in a wet towel. Okay. I don't know why that's there. Ugh. Animals deserve to have rights. Huh? What if they're homophobic? Huh? Uh. <laughs> oh. Are we starting? Starting? Sure. Sure. Take it away, Jake. You, you, you okay, Wyatt? You're, you're kind of struggling over there. See, the way I make my way bed way is I lift my whole mattress. My whole... Uh -huh. Um, multiple times. Multiple times. So it can it can get me out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last thing we did was we just got around town buying our just like restocking and stuff. Yeah. Yep. You guys had finished fucking uh, your little little, little fucking heist. side quest to do a heist. You went around town buying shit. Um. I'm pretty sure I cried in the herbalist, right? He did. You think he, he like clung to him? Speaking of herbalist, I need to go back to the herbalist and buy more of those sleep darts. I need to buy more of those sleep darts that Wyatt's character cried and said, please, I don't want them anymore. <laughs> uh, second, I'm going to go <clears throat> grab something to drink, and then we shall actually start. Okay. Some good agua. Good agua. Quality H2O. Quality H2O. Quality H2O. Quality H2O. Oh, he's doing that on a stinky little talk to Molina. Talk to Molina. Molina? Hmm? Is, that, is that the rot lady? Rot lady? That's Melania. That's Melania Melania is Melania is the, the, your maiden. Your maiden. <laughs> Yeah, the one that yeah, like the one that like lets you level, lets up, you level and... up and oh yeah, I oh, killed yeah, I killed... well didn't kill her. I like you didn't I, like, kill her, but you killed her. Go away. 
you make me very angry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, burning yeah, the world burning now. The world. Ah! Ah! Fuck you, Insha. I'm using your own ability against you. Is that character that character you're playing on your game on this game plus? No, no. Alright, you don't do new you don't game plus. Plus, you just make a new character. Make a new character. I I, I, yeah. I get a character I get a to character level 150, 150, and then I go, I go on to the next one. Oh. Oh. No, like my strength like characters, my characters are, so it can have different builds. Have different builds. Oh. Oh. Sometimes, oh. I play sometimes, sometimes I want to play a strength, strength boy, sometimes, sometimes I want to play, 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 play my faith boy. boy. Sometimes I want to play my arcane boy. boy. Oh, it's like oh, pure. It's like pure. Uh, yeah, like yeah. your characters are just that that build. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. It's not like uh, uh oh, this one's strength and hey. arcane. Hey, Mac. Well, I mean, they might be, but they're they're, they're all just builds, is yeah. the thing. They all have a theme. <sighs> One man who loves his themes. I do um, be enjoying a good theme. Okay. So you guys are currently at. I think we're in the middle of the road. We're indeed in the middle of the road. You said you want to go to the fucking, uh... Herbalist. Herbalist? I see, I see, I see. <sighs> so I like to imagine that we're not, like, walking. We're just teleporting in, like, five-foot spurts down the road. <laughs> That's how everyone <laughs> travels. <laughs> Really jankety fucking. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna say, hey, those sleep darts you gave me really worked out. I was wondering if I could get a couple of them for the road, maybe uh, <laughs> twenty or so. I'm gonna be trembling and shaking my head in the background. I'm going to I don't, like. I don't remember how turning my body. Thirty-five gold for seven, or thirty gold <laughs> 30 for seven. That's for twenty-one, 21 I guess. I guess. It's three weeks, three weeks. That's that's what the story we're sticking with. But no, as I like hear you start to say something, Wyatt, I'm going to uh, rotate my head 100 degrees without moving my body. <laughs> Just look at you. <laughs> Alright, so that'll be fucking... <clears throat> Keep it at 70 gold. I feel like that's 70 gold. Yeah, like, open the app. Uh, oop. Give him 70 gold. And as we already have the medicine made, it'll just take us a second to film. Okay. Okay. Where are those sleep darts at? Here we go. Are there any other specialty darts you would like to look into buying? Mm. Let me think. As they are an herbalist, they can do many things. You know what, give me some, I'm going to be in town for about a week or so, waiting on some clothes to get done. Let me, uh, let me think that over. I'm sure there's something that would be handy for my adventuring. Very well. <clears throat> uh, what, is there anything you need? We got... Nah, I'm good. We got potions. We got... Oh, oh, are there... Uh... What were the boots? Boots, boots? of boots? striding and something. Is there anywhere? Oh. Striding and then also striding again. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you now. There, there's nothing in there that has special things. Uh, uh. <clears throat> Um, we need we need something that's gonna keep us in town, or like close to the town at least. You said there's like a demon cave to the south, right? Yeah, you guys are not yeah. high enough level for that. Okay. Uh, let's explore the town. Let's uh, 
Yeah, let's just leave and see that building over there. Oh, is that the concrete building? The trading hub that White saw? No, that is the one. The one fucking south of it is that. Okay. That is a warehouse. Are there any people outside of it? No, there are not. But it does look occupied. Mm, you mm. open the door because it is just a store, and it's a bulk. It's a distant goods, distant lands, distant land goods warehouse. There we go. Mm. Distant lands. I'm gonna approach the the guy behind the counter and be like, "Huh, my name is Doug. What kind of what kind of stuff do you sell?" He's gonna say we uh, we specify uh, or we specialize in distant lands things. Such as, but not including, or but not <clears throat> limited to, uh, shrimp, mm. crawfish, mm -hmm. guns, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just a box of American, Chinese ammunition. This is the American store. We got fireworks. Oh, God. Would that be Chinese? Let's say, uh... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Does, does he actually sell fireworks? I'm gonna say, hmm, fireworks. Uh, you know, those might be kind of handy. You sell any like uh, smaller fireworks? I'm thinking like uh, in real life, just like a smaller Roman candle. I'm not a big fireworks guy, but like a smaller Roman candle, something that's gonna, you know, if I need to shoot up like a, you know, something to alert some people nearby. Like, uh, are we talking like flare gun style or like a genuine Roman candle, like fucking? Like, like Roman can like I want it to explode and like do firework stuff, but like, <clears throat> you know, if I shoot it in the sky, it can be like a signal. Yeah. How much would uh, see, five of those cost me? Five gold. Five gold. You know what? You got yourself a deal. I I don't have much use for shrimp or crawfish because I I I, I can't eat. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I'm gonna <clears throat> actually that's, that's something for the herbalist shop. Um, we also have uh, different types of potions, like uh, like giant strength potions. Giant strength potions. And uh, let's see, <clears throat> let's see some of the potions <laughs> that are in here because I know there's a bunch of ones that are like, ah, oh, yes, from far away. While he's while he's doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at him and say, you know, I've heard. I've heard of a practice that's pra you know, done in some lands that's uh, a little taboo, not particularly common here, but I've uh, heard of people getting spells tattooed onto their body. I was wondering if you know anything about that. We have had before uh, certain tattoos that, you know, not, not necessarily always spells, <laughs> but... Uh... Of, a, of a magical sort? Yes, let me let me re reminisce through some of the things that are in here that I totally <laughs> fucking forgot about. That sounds really cool. Yeah, yeah I was looking up cool. at a... It's called Spell Rot Tattoo. And, uh... While you're doing that, I'm gonna say, well, you know, obviously, you, as you can see, I don't have skin. So uh, I was wondering if you've, uh... know of any... across your business dealings of a master wood carver. I'm talking cream of the crop, best you've ever seen. Best of the best. I'm gonna well, mo of most, of the, most of the high-end people usually go to the Botan area because, you know, they pay well. But on the mm -hmm. tattoo thing, <clears throat> we have come across the, the special needles needed to do so. But mm -hmm. finding a person to, to imbue them is usually difficult. Right. And there's the added layer of difficulty of that I am made of wooden metal. So that would... Um, That's why I'm saying I could I could probably use a master wood carver and he could carve them into me. So you got you got a bunch of bunch of different types of tattoos, right? You got mm -hmm. your absorbing tattoos, you got your fucking your barriers, blood fury, cooling like there there's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, so the one I was looking at it's called spell rot tattoo. Yep. And it's just any fifth level or lower spell. Huh. Um. Um. So do Go we ahead, have buy to buy the needles from here? That's neat. <clears throat> but 
but that the, the whole spell rot tattoo thing is going to be like a, an in game kind of thing for me. It's like one of one of the things I'm want to go on a quest for is to find a guy that can masterfully carve this tattoo into me because you can't just use the needle, you know, made of wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we need to buy the to buy the needles here, Jordan? No, they're they're I I have like thought of this and they are definitely like something I that is in the world. It's very much just a uh, when I remember to put them in. Put them in. Uh, I know a wood carver. I know a carpenter. <laughs> Goddamn barrels. <laughs> I might have to I might have to take a trick a trip back up to barrels. How far away was it to that uh like that place? Like how many days? A three day trip. Three day trip. I mean, that there and back, there'd be six days. There'd be enough time for our clothes to get done. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna turn over to fear and be like, you know what? I just got a crazy idea. You Absolutely wanna you wanna take a little not. a little trip with me? Uh, sure. sure. Wherever you go, I'll Wherever go. You go, I'll go. Uh, before you leave, there are some other things that I do have in the in the distant lands. Good is the figurine <clears throat> of wondrous power. What is that? They are going to be the main the main thing of this shop. Fig greens of wondrous power. Figurines, but yeah, figurines of wondrous power, like fig greens. And then you got your ion stones. Stop fucking with my dice. Absolutely not, father. They're so dicey. I'm so dicey. They look as they can. Oh, they you got your, your qualls feathered tokens. Tell me about these feather tokens. What are those about? Oh, let's see. Each one does a different thing. Like, uh, like I think Jace has the, the swan boat one. And what you do is you throw it in the body of water and it makes a boat. Oh, that's literally just. Ripped off from, uh, from Frere. Frere. What? <clears throat> oh, I see, I'm missing, let me see. Uh, Norse God, his the whole Norse thing God, is, whole he's, thing is... he has a foldable boat. That's not what this is? Not what this is? I mean, tiny um, boat can be big, right? That is indeed cool. Ooh, tree. So, like, what kind of ones are there? Are there? Theo, Theo, stop. So, here, I'll read them to you. With my dice. Or just give me the piece yeah. of if it's in the player's handbook. There, it's in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Oh. They're mostly, like, there's anchor, which means if you touch a boat, it can't move, like, no matter what. <clears throat> there's bird, where you summon a giant rock that you can, like, fly on. <clears throat> I can be like they're uh, all kind uh, of like Goku kind of with the cloud, yeah, but like the the, rock. those kind of weird things that aren't really like loot things you would get. That's what's going to be in the distant lands thing. Okay. So what of those are in this shop? None right now. None. When will they be in stock? Well, every week. Something else will change. Okay. This it's one of the. What have you ever been to the ones like weird ass Japanese import stores? They sell like anime figures and stuff. I wouldn't say the is an import store, but there's a oh, Japanese God. grocery yeah. store next to it. Chick fil A. No, no, no. Import stores they sell they sell stuff. It's not like a they 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 sell weird shit that's imported usually from Japan. Oh. Like how the wand of polymorph is a stick with a toad taped to it. <laughs> Fraxidermic. Um mm <laughs> Yeah, I am going to. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm mainly just. And I want. I'm, I'm gonna go. A I want to go ask Barls if he can do this magical tattoo on me, or if he knows someone that could. And I'm gonna. Is there something you need to do in town, Wyatt? Nope. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty stocked up. Full rested. Uh, I'm assuming it's like morning still, morning mm -hmm. early. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. No, I'm gonna say we fucking go for yeah. the thing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's do it. I want to get into combat. I want to test my new thing. Okay. We can, uh... I mean, are the demons outside the cave too strong for us? They're, like, level... Five? Hmm... Is there a There's high chance of, of bandits if we take a certain way to uh, borrow this uh, we can, place? Maybe we can see the world map and see if we come across anything that looks like it could be bandity, like a cave or, or a way we could explore the rest of the town before we head out. <clears throat> want to do that? You want to just uh, find out what the rest of these buildings are? Yeah, sure. Let's just go to the black buildings. Yeah. The yeah, let's just, uh, <clears throat> I have, my curiosity has proven to be a good thing, so I'm going to inspect every building I don't know what it is. That's the one that Wyatt got kicked out of. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you this on the way. I'm going to be like, hey, there's a, hey, there's a, there's a warehouse at the end of the street, and it's a, insert what it is like here, because I remember here. you telling me, but I forget what it is. It's like a trade hub or something. something All right, where are you going to go? Yeah. This, uh, this building right here. Uh, I want to yeah, slake my say, curiosity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, don't really want, <clears throat> they don't really want us in that one. Okay, you get up to the door, and the door is locked. You don't see any windows. You don't see any form of thing to look inside. Is there any kind of, like, signery to say, like, what this is, or... Nope, it looks... On the outside, it looks rather abandoned. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to go uh, around... Oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to give you a thumbs up. But I'm going to say we should walk around the back of the building to see if there's a back door so we're not just picking locks in the middle of the street. Uh. Are there any kind of side doors or back doors or anything? You see a bay door on the back, just like every other warehouse. Uh, can I lift the bay door? Roll for it. Can we lift the bay door? <clears throat> like, uh, like I assist him. Ooh, that's oh, three. That's I'm assisting him. Oh. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna and there's no window there's just no windows it's just a bay door right it's just yeah it's just a bay door and a fucking very cement goddamn <laughs> alright I'm gonna shrug and start heading toward the front oh, and well. uh yeah I'm gonna attempt to pick the lock Okay. Fifteen. I don't feel like that sees. <laughs> the tumbler. I'm gonna very slowly open the door, just enough to like kind of stick my head in and see what's inside. <clears throat> There's no immediate danger. Nope, no immediate danger. You don't hear anything. I'm just gonna walk in. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna open the door and walk in with him. Very well. What is that? Completely empty. To be a chest. Is that a chest or a box? Or a... Indeed, looks like a chest. I'm gonna point to you and say, go ahead. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna giggle a little bit, kind of jump on my toes. And jump. <laughs> Kind of <laughs> like tap your fingers together. Yeah. I'm gonna shut the door behind me so that it, no one's just watching us. But uh, very well. Yeah, very well. I'm gonna let him open the chest. Uh, what do I need to roll? I mean, you can just open the chest. Oh no! Are those the tarot cards? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tarot cards are cool. For a chest? What if I get death I get on death? my opening opening thing? Just, fu just fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> right, you open the chest me... and just hit the ground. <laughs> roll me 2d20s. <clears throat> 12 and 1. Ooh, 12 and 1. 13. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, all right, White, roll the roll a D10 and then a D100. Six. 
91. What was the tarot card for? Ooh. I feel like we're not gonna know until it's right on us. Why it's you pull out the pipes of haunting? The pipes, the pipes are singing. <clears throat> I'm just kind of like ten feet back, kind of peeking over your shoulder, kind of like, oh, what's that over there? You see me pull out bagpipes. I'm gonna be very confused. It's very, it's and, very much uh, more like a flute. With an extra thing. Like a pan flute? Something like that. Definitely, oh, definitely seems like a bagpipe kind of thing. I mean, I can send you a picture of it. Oh, there's a picture? Oh, there's a picture. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. How do I become do I... proficient with a oh, wind proficient. instrument? Uh, it's part of your... Your like background and stuff. But like, is there a way I could be like? <sighs> you have to go to some like flutist and be like, I want to learn how to play the flute. And you're gonna play that, and he's just gonna fucking shit himself. <laughs> 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 I might actually be. Oh. I know I'm proficient in some instrument from my background. <clears throat> I'm proficient in boxing. I'm a professional boxer. Profession in these fucking hands. Um. Let's see, let me see, let me see. All you've given me throughout all of the sessions we've had, Jordan, are barred, barred. like instruments. I am that indeed stuff that would be extremely beneficial if I were <clears throat> barred. Ooh, I'm I, I'm are proficient in something? one type of musical instrument. Which is? Could I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give like a quick thing and say that those are uh, wind instruments, which makes kind of sense, because I do have like an air sack. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I can just kind of like perfectly tune stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, this is the first I've read the equipment I started with. A musical instrument and a love letter. Okay. So someone was real infatuated with me. I'm gonna say, ooh. I think I can I think I can play those. And I'm gonna uh, uh, Wyatt, can I Fear, can I can I can I give those a quick little uh old tickle the old the old pipes? Uh yeah, sure. Uh, you yeah. Know, hand it over. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a little perfunctory I'm gonna play but I'm gonna play <laughs> hot cross buns like I'm a <laughs> third third grader with a recorder. Or the, or the SpongeBob like Oh yeah. What does it actually do? It frightens people. That is does indeed vibe with what I'm going for. Uh, what? <laughs> Make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! I'm not immediately hostile to you. Oh, uh, okay, okay. If you wish, oh, wait, wait, each creature within 30 feet of you that hears must. Succeed on the DC 15 saving throw. If you wish, all creatures all automatically <laughs> succeed on the saving throw. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna pick you to automatically succeed on the saving throw because you're not hostile. But you do feel you feel unsettled by <laughs> there's something about this hot cross bun that is just like real menacing. The spookiest <clears throat> hot cross buns of all time. Did yep. you uh, did you use them? Yeah, I used a charge. Wyatt, you cough up water. Uh -oh. I cough up water? Yeah. Yep. Do You're I not frightened, but you got... Do anything you got, else? You're uncertain. 
No. You know? And you're gonna be like, what? But I'm gonna... What was that? And I'm gonna drink it. Uh, can, I, water. can you send me the picture? I just like? sent it to the ones that survived, didn't I? He's not in that one. Oh. I'm in that. R.I.P. Just send it to the D&D &D, D &D group. Just gonna add Jake. If you add Jake, then it's literally just the people that are in the D&D &D, D &D group. <laughs> It's our secret club secret that we don't want club. Jake a part of, okay? I don't know who the fuck <clears throat> Brett is. Ooh. Brett is, um... Glowstoned. Uh, uh, yeah. From, yeah. like, the Xbox party. Glowstoned 420. <gasps> Move him from the group. I'd be really insulting to him, I don't know why. <laughs> no, he was, oh, he was no. gonna do it with us, but, like, he just stopped. He just disappeared. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep those, and hopefully at some point, I wanna kinda find a way to, like, implement those into my body. At some point. You just have two, that'd be cool. like, flutes hanging out of the side of your mouth. Kinda like tusks. <laughs> like tusks. <clears throat> oh, dude, oh, no, they're like know. fucking, uh... So you know how I'm getting the cowboy outfit? Yeah. Yeah. They're like cigars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just gonna keep the flutes, and I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna open up all my little chest compartments and just kind of shove them in. I'm gonna say, I think these will come in handy if I ever need people to spit up water on command. <laughs> I'm be like, that was neat. <sighs> but uh, yeah, let's let's. So now, so you have to kind of remember, my character is learning how to be like an actual member of society because he's used to being told everything. And I have now definitely learned that if I just walk into random buildings, good stuff will happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to leave and I'm going to go for this building. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Isn't, like, all the purpley pink stuff like houses? Yeah, they're just housing. Middle class or crowded apartments. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going in them. These buildings that look like they have stuff in them. So what's going on with this, uh, this building? Is a cheap goods warehouse. Cheap goods. What are examples of cheap goods? Like a poorly carved wooden dog? Expired healing potions. Oh. You absolute rat. Fuck that. Mi mildly expired food. Rations that have just gone a little out of date. I'm gonna be like, we don't need. I'm gonna be like, we don't need. <clears throat> well, no, no, you can leave. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take one expired healing potion. Very well. Please just and, uh, add a potion of healing to your fucking thing. Okay. It actually. I'm gonna drink it. Damage. I'm gonna drink it right now. Okay. It's just a healing potion. Just a healing this potion. Is okay. This is just a testament to my hatred for bureaucracy. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna see. So what is this guy? I'm gonna walk out and what does this guy look like? That is just a dude outside. Not really like. He's not really being a. <clears throat> he's not really like a guard or anything, he's just kind of chilling outside. Is he like armed? Good day, sir. Good day, sir. No, no, he's just a guy. He's just, just okay. a dude and a, he's a tall white man in a tunic. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna say, what's uh, what's what's this place? Like it's, a, it's just a bulk goods warehouse. Oh. Is I don't know, I think I've actually... It's yeah. a weird thing to say, hello sir, is this building unlocked? <laughs> <laughs> Right. <clears throat> I think I've actually bought some darts from here. I used a, I used a, an errand boy, and I tipped him one gold. Just more than I paid for the darts, probably. <laughs> but, uh, How much gold do you have left to be tipping? Oh, dude, I've got 983 gold. That's 983 <laughs> potential tips. <laughs> didn't even tip the guy at the door. Oh, you didn't? You didn't? I didn't. I've got my mind on other things right now. I've got my my mind on other things right now. But uh I don't know, is there anything you can think of that we need just a shit ton of, Wyatt? <laughs> I mean I mean No. It's essentially Costco. It's essentially Costco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're gonna buy a little little too much peanut butter. <laughs> like it's never, it's, it's oh never my God. an acceptable amount. <laughs> you want an absolutely absurd amount of mayonnaise, I'm your guy. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I no. would like to resurface a picture of something. I'm going to send it in the group chat. I don't really eat food. So I enjoy food yeah, big you instantly changed the theme to transgender. Oh, that's for no. the D&D group, yeah. What? What, you want to come up here? Because <clears throat> it's funny. It is funny. Because it, it makes Jace angry. And that is funny. Mm. I've resurfaced the picture sure. successfully. Uh -oh. oh yeah, I remember the your your large mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, it's still in the fridge to this day. I'm sure it is. You can't eat that much mayonnaise. It's not meant for people. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna walk out and I'm gonna look at uh this building and like, is that the building they wouldn't let you in? I'm gonna be like, yep. I and I'm, I'm gonna walk up. Trading outpost. I'm gonna walk up to the guard guy and say, "Hello, I heard this is a trading outpost." Uh, can I like, come in? Yes. No, it's for members only. Mm. How do I become a, a secret member? society. He's gonna look and be like, uh, if you ask him to become a member, you're not a member. No, I'm, no, no, I'm say... just saying, I'm giving you a test. I am a member. I'm just mm. giving you a test. Like, how would you check if someone was a member? I'm very secretive about very my, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna get real close and... <laughs> I'm gonna show him the perfectly drawn Tiamat symbol on my arm and be like, "Huh? Is that a member?" <laughs> He's gonna be like, N "No, that's a that's a good children's drawing." Good though. job. Good Thank job. you for protecting our safety. Now, if I were to show you this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show him a a sigil <laughs> of like a pentagram or something. You just have a sigil of a pentagram on you. Sure. You're not a lawful good monk. <laughs> 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 like, Something no. nefarious going on with you, Wyatt. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna give him finger guns. I'm gonna walk off like. Click, yeah. cl I don't have a tongue to click, but I'm gonna make an awkward clicking noise. With my I'm jaw. Gonna be like, I'm gonna point directly to our right and be like, "Oh, what's that over here?" And then we're gonna walk this way. Oh, you wanna walk this way? Yeah. <clears throat> and then kind of left and around the building, just around the building. As soon as we're out of the any... You seen any windows? Yes, but they're all what? covered. Mm. Um, Not like boarded up, like covered on the inside with like cloths. Like like curtain, yeah. Oh, can I break one? Can I break... Don't break the window, please. It's the middle of the day. <laughs> and we know for sure there's people in there. Is there another door? Like a back door? Deal. Fucking stop. You're gonna push over my fucking laptop. Here, get down. This little guy. No, there's not another door. Um. What? What the fuck was that noise? It's fucking gross. Are you <laughs> drinking the mayonnaise? <laughs> no, it was a water bottle and, and there's not enough water at the bottom. For the, for the straw to pick up. I'm gonna say, well, that that trading outpost looks like something we should leave for later, as it is guarded in the middle of the day. You wanna? Like, you wanna? You wanna pull another uh, witch house incident on it? Uh, well, sometime hmm. in the late night. Maybe we should get because it's been exactly one day since we burned down that other house. <laughs> Maybe we give a little bit of time because they're gonna start to notice a pattern. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. After, after we go up to uh, up north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After, after we go that, and I get my new, my new sweet duds, I'd be down for a second heist. But right. a trade house has a bunch of gold in it. <clears throat> oh, did I ever get the needles? What? The needles for the tattoo thing? No. Oh, can I run to the store really quick and grab one of those? No. Oh. Why? Why? We don't have any right now. Oh. oh. Plus, you have no idea who would even be able to put them on you. Yeah, just like if we come across a guy. No, I was just giving you examples of what will be in that shop. Oh. Sailor Jerry's on our travels. <laughs> but, uh... Okay. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm ready to embark toward the city of uh, absolute fuck shit. Yep. See? But uh, I, I am also itching to try out my new 
combat stuff, so I'm gonna look for some. I'm looking for trouble. I'm looking for banditry. Might even participate in some banditry. You don't know. I only put two mansions world. in this fucking one. Dead. <clears throat> and the inhabitants of both are all dead. You indeed <laughs> did just go through and wreck their ship. <laughs> we did kill the inhabitants of both mansions. Although we never did find the mom and dad. I'm assuming they were upstairs in the mansion that burned. No. no. Oh, God. Ugh. Well, that'll be interesting. I'm sure that won't come back to bite us. <laughs> Let's see. So the challenge towers are for sure a no. What's a... Uh, do you know anything about this area that could be... Combat-y. I am not at my computer right now. I'm filling up the water bottle. Right. I'm gonna reload the page real quick. It's like an error. Literally a second. Yeah. Dream, 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 dream. I'm back here. I can, like I can see now. Where are we? Now? Where are we? <clears throat> I think he's opening up that big map. I'm still loading in. Oh, I see it. <sighs> I see it. Well, I'm on hotspot Wi-Fi, so it's gonna take me a second. I like Cheetos. I like Cheetos. Cheetos. What kind of Cheetos? <clears throat> nice. nice. I feel like the puffy ones are like too airy and they stick to your root. To the root. Yeah, they stick to my teeth. Yeah. Yeah. They just stick. It's just and it's really, it's really terrible. Yeah. It's, it, you know, it's, they're definitely like 500% oil. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not bad. So wait, which, which town are we in? We're in the northern oasis town, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... And it was up in the ice. Greedy domain. See, what, <laughs> see what we find there. I wonder if there's gonna be there's a gonna large be red orc. Large. And... Well, so we for sure know that there's going to be, uh, well not for sure know, but that's where the the witch's house we burned down was. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I kind of want to get a little more experience on our belt before we potentially run into her and she potentially knows we burned down her house. Or no, we didn't burn down her house, we just robbed it. What? No, we didn't. Why don't yeah. we go across the plains this time? Like, instead of following the path, like, this way, you know? Why don't we just go... Mm -hmm. boop, boop. Hey, we might run into some wild animals or something. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm down. Across the oh, river. Yeah. So, remember the guard, we asked him how the money arrived? He said it was like a shipment. We should check back when we get back and see if, like, a shipment of gold was dropped off to the place. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> this place called Shitsville? <laughs> yeah, RC named that. <laughs> it's a pretty bland place. Bless you. Nice. I was definitely Gear that named that. No, it was RC. Oh, it was gear was like, we don't have a name for this. Name. Any ideas? Yeah. RC was like, yeah. Yeah, Gear named that way before. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. All 
All right, let's yeah, let's just kind of go. Yeah. And then cross the river. Cross the river. All across the river bend. Wait, is it now that I can run across water? I don't know. I have a... So I can swim and stuff. But I do it very awkwardly because I'm... Even though I have like sealant and like waterproof sealant on it, it makes me very uncomfortable, like existentially. <laughs> And if you hear me cross the water, I'm just going, eh. <laughs> One second, I'm doing something. Yeah, give me five minutes. Okay. For ones like these, I, I create new pages. Man, on my Dex character, I'm trying to do the fucking uh, Great Jar challenge. Where you kill those dudes. I don't know if they buffed them or what, but those things are fucking insane. I literally just I, I killed literally... them. They have like, they have like maybe it's because I'm at an awkward level, but they have like fucking. 5,000 health, and they one-shot me. There's one <laughs> that's just straight up dressed up like Guts, and it has like a little hand crossbow. The, one, the only one that killed me is the uh, like, ass, like <clears throat> assassin guy. Oh, uh, dude, no. The, the next one, after I died and went back, the one I summoned had Moog Spear and just fucking used that on me 18 <laughs> times. He's a bunch of bull honky. Are those actual people? Um, no, they're not. They're not like players, but they might be like. Do they always have random gear? It might be one of those things where it's like if you beat them, like you get added into the uh, little mix. Oh yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys orange? I'm dark brown. dark brown. I'm orange. I am one shade of brown darker than the road. I'm gonna give the uh. All right. I'm gonna give those fucking knights a shot again. If they beat my ass, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I forgot about the goblin archers. Fuck. Why do these Why glow, glow, grow, glow, glow blue? blue? They like explode and shit. These are the only ones I found that do that. What? What? <clears throat> the golem archers leading up to the giant jar. Oh. I don't know. Like they glow. Okay, so. I'm ready. I also ready. Let me, let me get to the giant jar and I'll make sure I'm out of the range of the archers. All right, I'm good. All right, I'm good. Okay, so, okay, so you guys start yeah, marching yeah. through the sand, and you fucking you get there, and you hear Pokemon music, and you just go. But you notice there's nothing around you. You guys loaded in? <clears throat> yeah. 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 What are you guys doing? Dun, 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 dun. I am going to make a perception check and try and see if I can ascertain where said music is coming from. I'm going to get into a ready stance and expect them to come from beneath the sand. Ooh! Oh my god. Okay. Uh, you notice that the sound is coming from the fact that you are now ankle deep in sand and sinking. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna be like, this is like one of my worst childhood fears, but actually, quicksand is not that hard to get out of, and I'm just gonna walk. I'm I'm gonna panic because it's sand. 
and it's like getting in me. And I'm like, oh no 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 no. <laughs> and I'm I'm like thrashing, trying to run out of the sand. I'm like, the more you move, the more it gets in your gears, my friend. I'm um, gonna say, shut up, 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 shut up. Oh, shut up. What? Roll initiative. Ooh. Oop. Well, that should be a last. 14. Oop, that's actually a 7. Not a 6. Just, just in case they, they matched my roll. Your first turn. Your first turn. You will have half speed while moving through quicksand. Okay. Do I like instinctively see that this white sand area is the area of quicksand? Yes, with your nat twenty, uh, you do in fact see that <clears throat> that is indeed the quicksand. Okay. All right. That is a lot of quicksand. Or we could just go back. Yeah. Yeah. Just go back. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm panicking. I'm fucking hoofing it. And then I use my action to get 40 feet. And then that'll get me out, right? Or is that just outside? That's just outside. That's just outside. That's fine. Do I go first? Do I go first? Oh. Go first. Okay, I'm, I'm using my action and movement to get 40 feet that way. <clears throat> and then also at the race. By moving over there, you have gone to Shin Deep. Okay. okay. On that note, on that note. On that note. Ooh. Dun 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 dun. Oh, that one's got eyes. Are they worms? Sandworms? Once I fucking find the goddamn thing, because I know it's in here. <clears throat> Make sure it's fucking in here before I actually fucking put you up against it. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. Okay, you're making me go in the fucking appendix, aren't you? Three thirty-seven. That's not what I'm looking for. I really hope these guys shoot projectiles. I was like, just cling cling. I just want to chuck a projectile at them. They're gonna get a twenty and just nail you. You're gonna try and catch it. It's gonna go through your hand. <laughs> Three and twenty. Ah! Ah! I imagine my character leveling up, much like um. Uh, Neat. Uh, have you ever played Jedi Fallen Order? Yes. You are staring. You meditate. As you run back, Wyatt, you see two giant scorpions pop out of the ground. Oh hell yeah! Oh, but yeah. Jake, you notice one also pop out of the ground close to you. Is it notably larger? It doesn't have a stinger. Oh. It just has eyes. It's a camel spider. Yeah. How dare you? Oh god, that's terrifying. That is their turn. Jake, it is your turn. All right, I am going to. You said half speed, right? Yep. I am going to take both my action and bonus action to move, and then use my action surge to move another fifteen feet, which should get me out. There's a total of forty-five feet. Okay. 
And I would I'm like going to. to... I would mm -hmm. like to make you note that these are challenge level three. When I turn to Fury, I'm like, God, no, listen, these are challenge level three. <laughs> At least. <laughs> um. Yeah. No, I'm going to get just out of the quicksand and like try and dust myself off. Like, get it off. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. Uh, and then I'm gonna huck. Hmm. Let me read this real quick. I'm gonna huck one of my fancy new sleep, uh, seeker darts at it. Do I have to roll for attack on that? Yes. Whisper the word seek and hurl this dart. It seeks a target. Oh, I thought you said sleeper dart. No, no, Seeker Dart. No, I think Seeker Dart just hits. They have yeah. to do the saving throw. They rolled a 10. Well, uh, gotta be the 16. Throw. There's nothing they have that would be the 16. Okay, it's uh, Dexterity, for future reference. Okay. Um, so they take... Um, I clicked off of it, goddammit. 1d4 piercing and 3d4 lightning. I'm just going to roll 44. It's a lot of d4s. Nine. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Nine damage. <clears throat> well, there's so many things they so can do, they can... and they all revolve around all revolve. punching. It's so fun. Quiet, your turn. Quiet. I really want to watch you just like beat the shit out of the squirt gun. <laughs> just fucking pummel it. I am. Man. I can move that far, right? With just my movement? Because technically. It's I can't not... see because all your shit's fucking blocking it. I can move behind them, right? I mean. No? No? Like, no. the question is, is my movement speed halved the entire way? No. Okay. So, I'm gonna go right, right here. Like, kind of here-ish, right? Mm-hmm. Movement speed's half for, like, the first half. Okay, so, like, 30 feet-ish. 20 feet. No, like, 30 feet total-ish. I, sure. I just want to get inside of him. In front of the leg, right? And then I'm going to hit him with the 1-2. One, two. Uh, one, two. Uh, uh, and then, then... Hold on. Hold on. Hang on. That's not where I want to put that. I'm going to spend two key points. So... So... Man, it's keyed up. Indeed. <clears throat> okay. Wait, is does this count as a bonus action? It doesn't count as... Doesn't count. Oh no, it does count as a bonus action. Okay. Got it. Got it. On their side, On aiming their side. for their leg. Right? Uh, and then uh -huh. I'm going uh -huh. to hit them hit with them the three-part staff. Three part staff. Plus five. Five. No. No? Doesn't hit? Nope. But that does count as the attack. That does count. Action. So I'm going to spend a key point. And then hit him with him with. Yeah, yeah. Spend a cue point. Spend a cue point. Hit him with an unarmed arm strike or a monk weapon. Or a monk. And then I'm gonna hit him with that again. 
God. No, you're not. Nope. <clears throat> not a one. Not a one. Nope. nope. Not at all. Not at all. Uh. Well. On that note. Yeah, that's it. I'm I'm gonna save my key points. Okay, so they get a multi attack. So that will attack Wyatt twice. Remember how you said three, you wanna three attacks? Absolutely pummel a scorpion? Yep, you let me down. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so three attacks. Two of them hits. So one claw and one sting. <laughs> Wait, your armor class hasn't gone up right. Uh, it's at 16. I don't know what it was before. Was it at 16? Was it 14? Was it 14? It was at oh, 13. It was, it was because I I switched around uh, my strength and dex or something. Why? Because I don't need strength. I thought I needed strength to be a monk, but I just I just swapped it. And do indeed have weapon finesse every goddamn second. Oh, I didn't know that I didn't need strength. That's not my fucking problem. Okay. So what's your armor class at now? It's 16. Fucking You know what? I rolled two new ones just because fuck you, and they both still hit. So eat a dick. Okay. D8 plus 2, that is 8, that is 10. Then the sting is a D10. 6. 6. 2. 18 damage. Are any of those projectiles? Those projectiles. No. Or no. missiles? Is a missile just a no. projectile? No. Yeah, missile is just a projectile. There's a claw and a stinger. Ah. Jake! Jake! Mm hmm. Your armor class is also 16, correct? Correct. Correct. Oh boy, just fucking jumped on you and pinned you. Okay, I have to fucking draw it. He has grappled you. He has grappled you. But he will not sting you, as he missed. However, your back However, your is back. in the sand. I don't like sand! Don't like sand at all. <clears throat> this one has a... Okay. Brings us to Jake, your turn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take my acrobatics check to get out of this. Very well. Sixteen. You fucking break out of its grab. All right. No, butt cheek deep right now. I'm I'm getting out of the sand. What? We might die here. Yeah, we might yeah. die here. We might die. Uh, that's all I can do. Okay. Brings us to Wyatt. Yeah, I just went right. Yeah. I just... Yeah. yeah. So why it's your turn? Wyatt? I'm gonna try it again. Try it again. Uh... And with the old staffy staff. Indeed. Uh... Five. Five. Seventeen. That hits. That hits. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh. And then. So that'll hit for eight. And then 
I do it again. To key point. That shouldn't that hit, right? Shouldn't. That does not. Okay. And then I'm gonna use another key point to do a flurry of blows. Blows. I don't, I don't think you. Think you. How, what level are you? What level are you? Three. He's three. three. Okay. So that's your last so key point. Yeah, that's my last key point. Yeah, that's my last key point. Um. Come on, white, gotta hit him. Oh my oh god. My god. It equals 20. It equals 20. <laughs> it equals 20. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I don't even know what you're doing. That's my flurry of blows. He's so hitting it twice. It okay. Oh, I make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Very well. Roll damage. Uh, for just the one is gonna be a D4. Nope. Roll Two. for both. Oh. Nice. Okay. Uh, you and the scorpion both take six damage. Okay, <clears throat> I am extremely low. But there's but also there's a also thing. A this is the new thing. thingy thing. Is that, that is that four after that first D20 your damage? Yeah, for the for the yeah, staff, for the, yeah. Okay, is that just four? Plus one bludgeoning. Plus one bludgeoning. <laughs> okay. Uh, but then there's uh, another thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We have the open hand. Okay. Hey. Have it make a strength make saving a strength throw. Saving. Why? Why? Uh, it is a perk, uh, it is a and perk. if it fails and a str strength fails saving, throw, saving throw, after I make a flurry of blows, blow, it can be pushed up to 15 feet away from me. Yeah, just roll the 20, my guy. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> it is rock solid. <laughs> Technically, it said, I hit well, myself. I hit myself with flurry of blows, so can I be pushed 15 feet away from it? If you make a strength saving throw. Yes! Mm. I'm going 15 feet that way. <laughs> no reaction attack. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> I hit myself and then I did my own damage and I'm smart. <laughs> smart. <laughs> oh, okay. So. It is now their turn. Jake. Double whiff. Actually, no, that's a 13. That, that one hits. That third one does not, though. So, I will make that only the claw attack. Where's the... Jake, that is 5 damage to you. Is any of that poison damage? No, that is the claw attack. And make a okay. DC 12 saving throw. Hey, Jordan? What kind, what kind of saving throw? I'm going to assume it's strength. It doesn't say otherwise. You're, you're being grappled by the claw. Oh, yeah. Jordan, I just restarted okay, my app. It says I have 14 armor five. class now. You should be dead. Very dead. Ooh, that is not that. You are once again grappled because scorpions are dicks. Mm. <laughs> is this also a scorpion? It's also a lighter scorpion. red. No. no, that is a vulture coming in at you. In fact, it is swooping in to make an attack. It, it, the, the, the whole body count as a missile. Of... Oh, please let me <laughs> chuck the vulture at a scorpion. Your armor class is now 14, correct? Let me restart it again, just to be sure. It doesn't matter. It's sixty. It fucking. It's a plus. It's so four easy to do the math, Wyatt. It's ten it's 14, plus your dexterity, yes. plus your wisdom. <sighs> Did you Even make your? D you made. I want you to know it is two d four, and I just rolled two fours, plus two. <laughs> what well, well, you, you made your you made your monk the way RC did? Real shitty. <laughs> uh, you said 10 damage? 
Uh-huh. Mm. I'm unconscious. Fucking moron didn't heal, did he? No, I didn't have a bonus I action. <laughs> <laughs> he used oh, my but... bonus action. Okay. In in the stakes of hey, maybe I should heal instead of take that extra hit. Maybe you fucking heal! <laughs> Point of buying health potions, you don't fucking heal. Do I have health it's potions? Okay. Oh, I do. I don't think you do. No, I do. No, I do. Jake, no, I do. Jake, the larger scorpion without a tail sprints at you and the other scorpion and jumps the scorpion. You are no longer grappled. Okay. Those are two 19s. I need a third. No, uh, no, no tail. No tail. Two nineteen. That is bigger one. Those will be the tens. Eight and five. Ten and ten and seven. And Seventeen damage to it. And that scorpion is grappled, but you are no longer grappled. Okay. And then it is your turn. Uh, just poking it. <laughs> yeah, I'm running. I'm running 60 feet. Actually, no. I'm gonna go 30 feet to get in between, like right in between these scorpions. Okay. And then I'm gonna play my pipes of haunting. <laughs> so they have to pass a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Why you automatically lose one saving throw? Why? Because you were having a nightmare about drowning. Dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So they have okay, to so they save have... on saving throws. Throws. Yep. Okay. Who, what are you affecting? All three. Everything within thirty All... feet. All three scorpions. Hey. Okay. Uh, those two don't save. The big one does. Okay, so they are now frightened. Okay, they all have to use all of their movement. Actually, I need to relook up fear. I know they have to use all of their movement to get away from me. I don't know if they have to use their action as well. I'm. I'm don't think that is accurate. I think it's just they can't see you. Ooh, 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 laptop, come on now. Jake, or for Jace. 5e frightened. Conditions. Oh, it's on roll 20. Well, could have just used can't the function willingly roll move closer to the source of its fear. It yeah. does not specify that it has to run away. What is it that makes them run away? There's something that makes them run away. There are certain types of fear that animal that like uh, certain monsters give off that makes it so they have to run away. Kind of like I know that. Dead. I know that. Dead. It has <laughs> disadvantage on ability and attack while within line of sight of me and can't move yep. close to me. Okay. Okay. For, for the record, if you go into your app, uh, right on your level up thing, there's a <clears throat> rules reference, and you can just click on the word. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Maybe it's Pathfinder the Frightened makes him run away. Pathfinder. Wyatt, you Wyatt. are having a very detailed dream about yourself drowning. Okay. You only have five saving throws five left. Throws. Okay. Bing, which is your turn, so make a saving throw. That's one successful. That's one successful. Okay, so okay, I have so, a question. I have a question. Should strength Good be strength. high for high? Okay, so you have to yeah. decide what you're going to attack with, Wyatt. Remember, you need dexterity. Dexterity is your armor class. You have to have dexterity and wisdom. Dex and strength are my two highest. Wisdom? That's a wisdom. Wisdom is the entire monk stat. 
Oh, wisdom that is, is my second lowest. <laughs> okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Uh, so why do you have dex and strength? I thought punchy, you're gonna punchy, have high... punchy, punchy. Punchy, punchy can be dexterity. The problem is that your quarter staff is, is strength. Okay. So you have to choose. Jordan, can I see oh, wisdom? My my wisdom? No. Okay. Okay, the fucking giant scorpion is absolutely pummeling the small one. Jesus Christ. The small scorpion failed its fucking breakthrough. So. Oh, starting on, their, starting on their starting on their next turn, they can try and save out of the fear. Or. Jacob would like to read you a thing about vultures. A giant vulture has advantage, has advanced intelligence and malevolent, and malevolent bent. Unlike its smaller kin, it will attack a wounded creature to hasten its end. Giant vultures have been known to haunt a thirsty, starving creature for days to enjoy its suffering. I think the giant vultures after that scorpion because it's all fucked up. On that note, Jake, it is your turn. Okay. I am going to run 30 feet toward Wyatt. Okay. I believe that puts you within range of touching him. Uh, in that case, can't I? Let me check the little reference thing. That's why I chose strength. Can't I help him get up? App under app. Monk, it says strength and dexterity. I believe you need a medical kit to do that. Uh, can you can you use your action to administer it? first aid to an unconscious creature and attempt to stabilize it. Which requires a DC 10 wisdom medicine check. Stable creature. I think the medicine kit guarantees that I do it. I don't think I have to have it. Very well. But I think, the, I think the medicine kit... Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna make my DC, DC... ten. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, oh. why it is now stable? Nice. Or hold on, does that just count as a save? Uh, stabilizing the save for creatures. A stable creature doesn't make death saving throws even though it has zero hit points, but does remain unconscious. Yeah, yeah, so it, he just doesn't have to make any more saving throws. He's unconscious, though. Okay, yeah, no, I, I just got to the stabilizing creature part, too. You said bonus actions or po potions or bonus actions, right? Yep. yep. Can I can I feed him one of my healing potions? Sure. sure. Alright, Wyatt, roll 2d4 plus 2. Nice. Six, six health. We have that momentarily inverted disaster. And since you are close, that one can't fucking get close to Wyatt. Did that count as a short rest? No. <laughs> <laughs> quick nap, quick nap. <laughs> okay, so you watch the big one rip the small one in half. Like, just straight oh, down Jesus. the fucking middle. God damn. That is... How much... So, I'm assuming that the giant scorpions are like... Giant rad scorpions from Fallout size. Yeah. yeah. How much bigger is the, the big, big one? About double the size. Jesus. Things monster. Alright, it is now Jake, your turn. Okay. Um I'm gonna huck two darts at the one closest to me. I'm, I wanna do that. Ooh, actually. And then for my bonus action. 
I'm going to expend one of my superiority dice from my subclass and do quick toss. Ollie. Uh, because normally my second attack doesn't get my bonus damage, but this one it gets both an extra D8 and the plus four. Ooh, when it doesn't hit though. It do be not hitting. That first one hit though. First one hit. Okay. Seven damage. Nice. Ooh, wait, wait, hold on. For the second one, I can choose to consume another superiority die. When you make a weapon attack roll against a creature, you can expend one superiority die to add it to the roll. You can use this maneuver before or after making the attack roll, but before any effects of the attack are applied. So I'm going to attempt to roll a d8 and try and add it to... Okay. So, uh, 18? That's good with me. Hell yeah. 1d... Four plus four. Okay, I'm trying to pim dos this shit. Plus eight. Fifteen damage. Very well. That ate up a lot of my spear to die. Only two left. On that note, uh, fucking the vulture is gonna go after the biggin. He makes two attacks. They both, they both. Was that plus four? Yep, they both hit. Two D six and two D four. Three plus four. Seven. Thirteen. Okay. Old boy takes around fucking 17 damage. And and on his turn, he's going to fucking crit the vulture. Oof. And straight up squish him in half. Yank that bitch out the sky. Straight up just went... And it is going to start eating it. Ew. And then it's going to take its fucking action to dip under the sand. Jake, it is... Not your turn. It should be Wyatt's turn, right? Wyatt is still unconscious. No, no, he took the healing potion. Does that mean he gets up? Yeah, if he gets, if he gets anything above zero health, he's conscious. Very well. We have been playing that wrong for a very long time, then. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal. That's a good idea. I mean, that's a bonus action, though, so he can still run. Or he could drink two potions. That might also be a good idea. <laughs> I, oh, I need to remove a health. Get, uh, I I'll get a need to remove one of my health good. potions. You good, Han? You good, Han? Uh. -oh. No. He's just not asleep yet. Not I don't know if he's being a menace. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. With my that wasn't an answer. My extreme <laughs> lack of key points. Lack of key... Uh. I cast fireball. Cast fireball. 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 What are you actually doing, Wyatt? I'm I'm genuinely I'm casting genuinely fireball good. with my staff of fire. fire. Oh, that's right. You do have the staff. Uh, I just don't know what it does, so let me add it to my spell thing. It's it's got to make a dexterity saving throw. Fire. It's three D. Pretty sure it's three D six damage. Uh. And it has eight D six fire damage. Jesus Christ. Why? Roll 20d6. 20d6? Hmm? That's not good. It is not. And you expend every charge. Every... Why? Why? 
Because? Okay. You do not, however, do have not to do that thing where you have to, like, roll a fucking dice to see if it stays intact. That's a lot of damage. You just realized that 8d6 damage is a whole lot of damage? <laughs> Why you, Why you literally, literally fucking obliterated, obliterated a giant scorpion? Nice. nice. Boom. Just straight. Just straight. Massive explosion of fire. Fireball. 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 Uh. Hundred experience. I'm gonna look around and see if see if, if that uh, giant scorpion, the tailless one, is still boogieing about, or if it's just gone. Perception check. Oh no! You don't notice it coming back. Hmm. I am going to huh? take. One of my five fireworks, and just try to shoot it in the mid, like shoot it up in the air, like but in the middle of the pit, and just try and like see if I can't scare it out. Okay, uh, I guess that'd be an intimidation roll. Okay, I don't think I have. Well, I don't have charisma, so I should have something plus that. Ooh, and I have advantage. Wait, 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 no. Why does it have an arrow above it? Do I have anything that's being damaged? No. I don't know what that is. I'm just going to roll it. Hmm? Nope. <laughs> is that your roll for it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you shoot it. It fucking goes over and just kind of explodes on the thing and nothing happens. Okay. I'm, uh... I'm gonna dust myself off and be like, well, that was an adventure. That was indeed let's, uh, an adventure. Let's not go through the quicksand again. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk this way. You're fucking moron. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna take. I'm bringing it around town. I'm trying to leave this area. I don't wanna fuck with that giant scorpion anymore. Why it already almost died. I do not. You definitely almost did. You were in danger of dying. I'm gonna drink one of my uh, <laughs> potion feelings. You guys have the over overworld li lined up? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just scooting along, fucking going through, fucking chilling, going up the road, nothing interesting happens. I move myself over. Oh, did we get any expansion from that? 700. 700. Running through the six with my woes, crossing the river, getting to a crossroad, going up, looking okay. bibbidi bobbidi. Would you guys like to stop in the, the town, the Hjalmar? Mm, not particularly. Is there anything you need, Wyatt? Hjalmar. Uh, no. Again? Good night, buddy. No. Ah, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I really need anything. Yeah, just, just scuttle us on by. It's just one less load screen I have to do. The song is like the song is powerful. powerful. Well, you said you said it's a three-day trip, right? So it'd be reasonable to expect that we're taking a long rest at, before we get there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is about where you guys are on the map. Sneeze. Oh God! Mm. Oh, let's God. take a let's take a five minute break. I gotta pee. Okay. Okay. Can we, we get some water? To like ten minutes so I can shower. No, your showers take fucking forty goddamn minutes. You, sh you shower for like forty five minutes. Okay. Are you actually gonna take ten minutes to shower, or are you gonna take forty five minutes? No, I'll take one. I'll be quick. Okay. I mean, I can't stop you from showering. Yeah. I was just saying. Do you take forty five minute showers? The fact that it takes forty five minutes 45 is my minutes. is my is my is my poo beforehand. Mm. Mm. 
So what, re- so what it really what is, really is, you're, is you're, you're, you're looking you're, at memes on your phone. On your phone. Yes. On the toilet. Yes. On the toilet. Yeah. yeah. That's what I do too. That's what I do too. Bad habit. Bad habit.
As long as it's nothing weird. Like it'll it'll Maybe put resins on its weapon. Man took a reasonably timed shower. Indeed. Indeed. Now, let me get to it, Grace. Oh, do you want to see something? Oh, do you want to see something? Oh, they did. Oh, they did. It was a it was a joined <laughs> it was a joined after mother and I. What'd you do? What'd you do? Mother. Do you have the uh, do you have the, my uh, camera on? Yeah. Thirty. Three. Oh. Oh. Oh wait, no, no, wait, that way, yeah, oh, that way. I hung yeah. that, that, I hung, I hung that, that, and then I hung <laughs> that, I hung that. Nice. nice, you guys did basic adulting stuff. I'm very proud of you guys. Proud of you guys. Uh, and then there's two behind my door. There's two behind my door. I can't reach. Oh, and I can't oh, see, oh, but I'm oh. imagining it's it just crosses. You found Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I actually accepted Jesus into my life, like <sighs> extremely, like extremely, all at once. like all at once. Like an abnormal amount. <laughs> An above average amount of Jesus. <laughs> Not only did I find Jesus, but I also found like... Like, I don't know, his home as well. Like... Found Jesus and friends. Spoken like a man who's been to church exactly one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's man a never. <clears throat> Man never had to do Bible drills, or drill, none of it. No, I didn't go to Christian school. I did. That's unfortunate. Did they force your it wasn't nice. religion upon you? I mean, they did, but it actually wasn't that bad. Oh. Alright, one second, we'll put the bowl in, I'll do it again. Why you're Every like Thursday... Well, I'm like, what? Huh? Say it. Say it. Uh, is that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. Your most favorite pastor favorite. in the world. Is that what? Is that where you met your most favorite pastor in the world? Who's my most favorite pastor, pastor pa in the world? Pastor Jeff. Pastor Jeff. Who the fuck's Pastor Jeff? Scout Master Kevin's uh distant relative. Oh no. Relative? Oh no. Scout Master Kevin's cousin. <laughs> nah. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't great. But I mean, it was basically a normal school. You just had to go to church and take religion class. Mm -hmm. I think that's that'd be cool, that's, but like, that'd be cool, but also not. It's not. It's not like, like theology. Be... It's learning how to be a Christian. Oh. It would be cool if you like cool learned about like. Religion. Religion. Not yeah, like, no. not how to be it's, how part to be. of it. It's Bible class. It's not a... I have studied theology, though. What is that? But theology is the, just the study of religion. Oh. Uh, uh, but no. It was very much... Just uh, reading the Bible a whole lot. I just, thought of, I just thought of a fun song parody. Hmm. Just... What I like about you? You don't nope. gag when we fuck. Oh, okay. nope. That that went a different direction. <laughs> I don't Does like it. Up, down, all <laughs> it makes me feel bad. All right, uh, you guys <clears throat> are right below the town of Ranvig. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I'm gonna confidently stroll right up. Uh, whoop, well, I'm gonna knock on the door. So Barls is. I didn't Barles see is. Door. Uh, this one. Strolling through, strolling through, strolling through. Fucking knocking the door. An old boy just says, Come in. I'm walking in. Uh, before I say anything, what kind of hat's he wearing? Wearing a raccoon hat. I'm gonna say, hey, Barls, how's it going? I'm gonna say, welcome back. How may I help you? I was wondering. So I have a little bit of a plan, okay? And uh, have you ever heard of the practice of tattooing spells on someone's skin? He's gonna say, absolutely, I have. 
I'm gonna say, well, the sleeve and, w and reveal like 37 different tattoos, but none of them really make like, sense. I'm like, ah, oh, nice. So I was thinking about getting some similar stuff done, but I'm gonna kind of gesture to myself and be like, there's an obvious uh, impasse with that with needles. I was wondering if you'd be willing to give it a shot to uh, carve such a spell into me. He's going to say, well, realistically, the problem with that is that it is not necessarily the, the signs or anything that makes it magical. <laughs> it is, in fact, the inherent liquid that is magical. Right. You think that it could be put into like a wood stain, like a varnish? I was thinking more of a magical tree sap. Magical tree sap. Well, I'm, you know, I'm going to take your word for it on this one. You seem to know a lot more about this than I do, but, uh, you know, how hard it would be to obtain such magical tree sap? You know, well, realistically, there's only there's only a few magical trees in the world. Mm -hmm. There is one housed in the center of the Angel's Kingdom. There's one housed in the center of the Demon Kingdom. There's one on the mystical island of America. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And then there's a... <laughs> it's definitely in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> the An orange tree. Of America. And then there's one on the, the, the Dragon's Volcano Island. There was allegedly one in the Dwarven City, but, uh, you know, it's uh, the dwarves are very uh, no touchy about it. Yeah, I will I'd imagine that the Demon and Angel Kingdom are also not going to be too fond of someone coming in and extracting sap. Do you know if any of those places sell the sap? Like, is, is that a thing anywhere? Mm, not that I know of. But you do, if I could get the magical trees up, you think it could be done? Absolutely. All things are possible. As I am, I am mystical magic. I am magical mystical. That you are. That you are. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I'm gonna ask if uh, if I am able to am able. get these tattoos like for myself with like a regular needle, because I'm all all scaly in that. Like. I mean, you're gonna need you're gonna need a thicker needle. But okay, yeah. But, okay. But like, or a very a very liquid. strong tattoo artist. <laughs> <laughs> but like it would work like just the regular liquid would work on me <clears throat> okay I'm gonna say uh, oh, oh, well, thank you for your information you, uh, you still got that dog I gave you absolutely he's gonna pull out a sea urchin I'm gonna shudder a bit shudder just like <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna kind of look at it I'm not gonna touch it I'm really like, this is like I, you can't my eyes don't really I don't blink or anything but my eyes kind of flicker in remembrance, I'm gonna go. I'm glad you kept it. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk out, and I'm gonna go to uh, Narl's, Narl's hat shop over here. Okay. You knock on the door. Knock on the door. Nothing happens. And then the door opens. And then the door opens. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna say, "How's it going, Narls? Looking fancy, looking fine." Indeed, indeed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I, uh, I realized that after my my previous visit, I never actually paid for this fine hat here, and I'd like to, I'd like to pay you for it. Uh, I'm gonna bring out 15 gold, and I'm gonna put it on the counter. He's gonna say, gonna say thank, "Thank you, just, thank you." I'm saying he's just, uh, didn't feel right, but uh, I don't know. Then you make uh, custom hats. I absolutely can. Would you be able to impo impose any sort of uh, magical ability on such hat? I mean, I myself am not a magic -y man, but like you know, I'm sure I could find someone to do it. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm going to be in the, the general area on this side of the continent for a while. 
I was wondering if you could make me like a perfect form-fitting black leather cowboy hat. With yeah, a little, uh, absolutely. with like gold thread embroidery around the sides. Mm, yeah, it's doable. Definitely doable. Not out, not out of, not out of the reach. It's going to be a little pricey because of the gold thread. Right, right. I understand that. Uh, how much do you think that'd run me? Well, do you want the magic stuff imbued into it? Because that, I that am going to be shipping it to someone. For now, I'm just going to do the hat. But I just wanted to see if you, that that was something that you were capable of. To be honest, it's easier to imbue magic while making the hat than it is to imbue magic into a hat that is already made. But uh, mm. just uh, with your with your fancy leather one, it's going to be about sixty-five gold. Okay. Say I wanted to imbue such hat with the ability to cast disguise self. What do you think that would? First level spell. It is a first level spell. I enjoy probably your as we do this. For, unli Thank for you. unlimited use of it, it's going to cost probably about two hundred. Or no, I'm sorry, 175 gold. Okay, and Jordan, would that be like a once per long rest kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. 275 gold. That seems like a fair price. No. How long do you think that? 175. How long do you think that'd take to get done? The making will take me about three days. The shipping off and imbuing it will take easily a week and a half. So, probably, okay. about, probably, probably a little under two and a half weeks. Okay. I can have it delivered somewhere if you'd like to. Uh, yeah, I'm currently uh, kind of got a home base in the North Oasis. So if you could have it sent to the mayor there, and just uh, sure, yeah, absolutely to the to, to the care of the mayor, the mayor Doug. That you do, that you do. How's uh, how's business going over here? Oh, you know, business is booming. Different time, different travel. True, true, true. Um, that's all I really need, actually. I'm gonna. I'm having some. Ooh. No, no, I'm gonna avoid that for now. Uh, I'm trying to remember what 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 else is in town. There's the hat shop, the herb shop, the fish shop, the carpenter shop. Chest What's the maker. last one? The chest maker. Jordan. Mm. Uh, is there, like, this is like asking you as a DM. Uh. Could I, like, imbue I, like, two things into one item? Uh, depends? So what I'm thinking of what I'm thinking is, of, you know the, the, you know the, the uh, champion's belt thing champion I get, belt? I have? I have? Like, around, no. my, around my waist? Oh, yeah, for your oh, actual yeah. character. Yeah, yeah, for my character. Yeah, yeah, for my... Um, yeah. what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking I, I want to imbue, like, the alarm spell on that. Spell on and that? And also... Also, I don't know the spell, but it's the thing that like, like sends it back to me. Back to me. You know. Like it. The like fucking, it tele like, the fucking seventh level spell that fucking Jace has. Oh, is that seventh? That would probably level? be a, a little pricey. I thought that was. I thought you used that earlier, uh, Jake, on your artificer. Like you're like. Oh, oh yeah, that was an art. That, oh yeah. That was like, I could imbue a weapon with the thrown item thing, and if you threw it, it came back. Yeah. Oh. I thought you meant the, uh, the fucking... Turn the center thing. Yeah. Fuck, what's going on? Yeah, it's one of the artificer, artificer infusions. That could be done, though, right? Okay. could be done, though, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That basically, anything can be done. Why? That, that's. Okay. I have. I have yet to hard say no on something. Well, it'd be kind of interesting to make like some like, two specialty darts that return to me. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Oh, that'd be good. Ask. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Uh, <laughs> ask. Uh, are we in front of Gnarls? Gnarls. Yeah, I'm gonna ask Gnarls. Ask um, Gnarl. Uh, who's the, uh, uh who's the, uh, that you're speaking of? 
Oh, it was just a, just a warlock and warlock. fucking Botan. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Is, would his name, his name, would he be part of the Skynar family? This... By any chance? You know, you know, he would happen to be. Happen to be. Oh, huh. Oh. You said Botan? Did Botan? Mm-hmm. Uh, would you point uh, out on the map where it out is? on the map where it is? Like in the middle, right? It's the... Uh, yeah. Let me move you guys to the fucking thing. Oh, is that your hometown? Oh, is that your hometown? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the, the special <laughs> DM privilege town. Right there. <coughs> I'm gonna look over to uh, Doug and say... Yeah, it's like right in the middle. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna look over to Doug and say, do you wanna <coughs> please stop by there after, after this place? After. Uh... Can. What, uh, what you wanna do there? I wanna see, uh, if I can imbue my, uh... My... My belt. Belt. With, uh, uh, with some magic spells. Magic spells. The belt you don't have? The belt I... Belt I... Wasn't the belt right. being created by yeah, the, the clothes yeah. maker? Well, no, no, no. I have the no, belt. No, no. I have the, belt. Oh. the pants are cre being created by the clothes maker. Antalones. <laughs> the belt I get. Oh, that's fun, though. To my, ooh, that is pleasing to my ears. The belt uh, I get the background because I'm like a champion, champion boxer guy. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm fine with that. Okay. We don't have a particular quest we're doing right now. Yeah. The only thing I'm trying to do right now is just get stronger so I can then, so we can go get the, uh... Old witch lady. The sorceress, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oof. My stomach is... feels like must burp. Go chug water. I just did. It obviously did not chug water again. There you go. That was Jordan. You guys are you guys are back in the fucking uh, back in the snow thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Well, <clears throat> I don't have any particular need for fish. Um. Ooh, I'd like to go to the chess maker. Is that with Paul? Yes. Oh, we could ask Paul about the chest about in the house. That's that's exactly what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. There's the there's the there's a hat guy, hat there's guy. a wood maker, there's a chest guy, chest there's guy. a herb place, and herb then what's place. what's the last one? What's the fish, fish the fish guy. Fish guy. Fish guy. Yeah. Okay. You guys leave the hat store. I will maintain this gimmick through the entire thing. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you not want to draw like other circles? No. Okay. It's not as fun. Not as fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. Paul says oh, hello. Uh, Welcome back. Hello. Hey Paul, how's it going? I uh, listen. You're you're an expert on all things chest. I had a a run in recently with a uh, chest that I know is magically imbued, but I'm not quite sure what with. I do know it was from the Abjuration School of Magic, and I was wondering if you had any insight onto like if you, if you were making a chest and you wanted it really secure, and you were casting an Abjuration spell, what would you use? Well, well. Uh, did you said you saw the magic? I yes, I saw the magic. It there was no adverse effects immediately. Um, but did I, it, it did go have... away when <coughs> the chest was opened. No, it did not. It sounds like it was most likely some form of notification spell. Okay. Now keep in mind, this chest was owned by someone very wealthy, so they would have a lot of resources. 
Um, is there any chance they were able to see who opened the chest, or do you think they were just alerted that the chest was opened? Most likely just alerted that it was open. Okay. Hmm. However, I can't guarantee that as, you know, if someone right, is right, well off enough to, you know, cast some form of alarm that is permanent, they're, they're capable of some other stuff. Right, right. They're capable of installing your ring doorbell. Indeed. Shaquille O'Neal himself came and doorbell. installed it. Uh, well, we inspected the door and I cast Detect Magic and the chest was the only thing that was magical. So, that's actual real-life ring doorbell was there. <laughs> it was, we're probably good on that end. Yeah, that was probably some alert thing. Realistically, um, they'd probably rely on the, the people guarding it to tell them who it was. Right, right. That's... That's, uh, that's not going to be an issue. Uh, I'm going to look over, like, a little worried. Be like, did any of them see us? We're good, right? No, no, no. I remember, because remember, we... we, we we, we knocked out with the darts, everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you okay, know, yeah. none of them saw us. There was only that one unfortunate... Uh... Oh, yeah. No, no, there's yeah, two yeah, yeah, yeah. casualties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two, cas two unfortunate casualties. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that that is... Safe, you know, if if I was having a bunch of people guard my house and some of them died, I'm just saying the there is, there is resurrection magic. There is, there is, um, but I don't know. I think, I think we'll be okay. Resurrection magic, I mean, at most they can revive, what, one guard, and the chances that that one guard is one that might have seen us, you know. Well, both of the guards, not... both of the guards killed were, I'm pretty sure they saw us, so this, is, this could be a problem. I wonder what happens if we resurrection, resurrect someone who was charmed. But, uh, yeah, so th th there's, yeah, that's, I'm gonna have to take my chances on that one. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that, uh, the ones that didn't see us, you know, they don't, they didn't see us, and then the ones that did, uh, say there's a low chance of her getting one that saw us. Okay. But, uh, oh. but also, like, you gotta think about, there's probably something useful in that chest if it was worth putting guards around it. And a yeah, that's, that's another thing. Spell. There wasn't... There was... I mean, it was some, some decent stuff, but nothing that I would say is worth, I don't know, for example, building an entire marble house and paying an exorbitant sum to have multiple people guard it. So I'm a little confused on that one. But, uh, you know, that, that, that's our problem. We'll figure that one out. Um, but yeah, you're actually, you know, the, you're the second person that said that it's probably just an alarm spell. I'm thinking, I just want to be an air on the side of caution, you know? No, no, absolutely. I just want to point out about all my Skyrim houses that I bought, put a bunch of shit into, and just, <laughs> just left. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm going to think for his time. Now I'm going to leave, and I don't really have any particular use for either the herbalist or the fish shop, but not wanting to be rude, I'm going to go in and say hi to both. And just, uh, yeah, just like, hey, how's it going? A little small talk, and then I'm going to leave. Very well. I'm just going to skip doing that, because that's a lot of moving yeah. things. Ooh, and D11. Ooh, yeah. actually, I will, go to the, I will go to the herbalist shop. Ah, yes. Good old fucking Damn. Herbie boy. Do you have the, um, um, names of the people that live there or work there. Yeah, they're written on they're written on every house. <laughs> Along I'm gonna with go... what hats they have on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. Hi, hey, howdy, Dean. How's it going? Uh, what's going on, partner? I, uh, I'm gonna pull up one of my sleep darts. I'm gonna show it to him. I'm like, I have recently uh, come across this very handy tool. Um, it's a little you know throwable applicator. Of various serums and potions, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and uh, mm -hmm. I was wondering if you'd be able to recreate it, but maybe with some foot liquids. I mean, yeah, it's easily doable. It's, they're just 
essentially throwing syringes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, so this one gentlemen. is so this one is handy. This is a uh, non-lethal option. He's gonna um, he's gonna grab it and he's gonna stick it in himself. I'm go oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Interesting. You know, okay, okay. There, bud? I can recreate it. I can recreate it. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. okay. I'm thinking of something uh, with similar strength because I'm sure you can tell that was essentially a bolt tranquilizer. That was some heavy stuff. Um, yeah, that no, was definitely definitely potent. <laughs> Maybe we could do something similar with uh, poison of some sort. Well, poison poisons are easy. Poisons don't take any like. You could just ask me for the deadliest poison the guy. <laughs> Hmm. I'm trying to think of what else. Maybe you could do like a. Batman do you think it'd be hook. like you shoot the dart and there's? Well, like yeah, but that's there. that'd be cool. But that's I'm thinking of like herbalist things. I'm thinking maybe you think you could make one that could cause uh, hallucinations, like real heavy visual yeah. hallucinations. <laughs> Absolutely. It's just uh, I'd have to have to fuck with some types of types of shrooms to see what it would be. I assume you want to be you want instant. In, instant is ideal, uh, as as instant as possible. Solutions uh, usually take a while to get through. Yeah, unless they're like yeah, and thrown directly into the brain. Right. That would also just kill them. So that would that. <laughs> but uh, it is yeah, a you, you see you that... seeing the problem there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, just due to the the nature of it being thrown, you know, they're gonna notice pretty quickly they've been hit with a dart. So, um, the hallucinogen. While this is happening, I want to go. Have you to, thought uh... about Have you thought about putting like a almost like a potion liquid in it? So it's essentially a spell in the dart. That is indeed kind of what I'm going for. What about? So I have these sleep darts, right? Which are great for uh, you know, taking people that are unaware and kind of moving, but what about a paralysis one? Oh, that's where, absolutely like, this doable. Hundred percent doable. This, this is more of a brute force option, you know. Mm -hmm. Jake, or I'm sorry, uh -huh. Doug. Uh, what about a zone of truth imbued dart? <sighs> truth darts. Truth darts. Truth darts. Truth darts. That would also be very handy. That one, I'm not necessarily worried about being. Instant, just potent. Yeah, yeah, we can uh, we can go for essentially potions in spell dart or in throwing darts. That's definitely doable. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of uh, adjusting to what you like and what purpose you're trying to have it serve. Right, right. Well, so let's say the paralysis dart is more so of uh, let's say. You know, I've got a bounty for someone that I need to take alive, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you can wake up from sleep, you know? But if, if it's if it's someone I'm trying to physically move a whole lot, I probably need to have them paralyzed to make sure they don't wake up. Well, we can, we can do it two ways. We can try the potion version, where it's, you know, essentially a potion of paralysis. Or we can try the poison way, where there's a chance of them dying. I definitely don't want them to die. Let's, let's avoid the, the dying part. It's very much a, it's very much going to be based off of if you do the potion one, it's going to be based off of spell saves. Mm. And let's say you're trying to you're trying to paralyze a high level sorceress. Hers is going to be higher to deal with than you know. Right, right, right. And then, uh... yeah. So I'd like. The truth dart idea is a good idea. The paralysis darts. And then one dart of the absolute strongest poison you have. I can do the poison one right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that'll that'll be my kind of ace in the hole. He's going to reach behind the counter and fucking, you know, mix a few cocktails and fucking throw a little fucking... little, little dash, of, dash of fuck shit in there. Fucking... Mm -hmm. Take the one that he injected the fucking sleep shit in, fucking mm -hmm. pop the back off and pour it in and be like, alright, there you go. 
I'm not even gonna charge you for that one. I'm just curious to see Ooh. what you can do with it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna take oh, that one. one. I'm charge you for though, just so we're clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's understandable. I appreciate the freebie. I just I had some but, uh, things on my shelves I need to get rid of. Understandable. The feds. The feds. <laughs> Those dastardly feds. But uh, yeah, so the other two, let's say the paralysis and the truth starts uh, say five of each. All right, they're gonna they're gonna take me a minute to do. Okay, that's fine. We got some we got some stuff around town we can do. No, no, no they're gonna hit me like a week to do. I can just oh, mail them okay. with your uh, with your hat. I heard you got. Yeah, that, that that that'd be really appreciative. I'd really like that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's. It'll come in your little order with a hat. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, Dean, you've been exceptionally helpful, and uh, I, mean, I look that's forward what to for. testing yeah. this stuff out. Very well. Let me know how it goes. Oh, I I absolutely will. Trust me. I'll probably be back for more. We look forward to your companionship. Uh, what? Anything you need to do here? Uh, oh. Uh... No. Want to vote on? Uh, yeah, I'm cool. Going about. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go to, uh. I'm gonna, before I leave, I'm gonna say, actually. Uh, would you mind telling good old uh, Farls or Narls, sorry, that uh, we're actually going to be in Botan, so if you could ship it there, I'd really appreciate it. You're going to be in Botan in two weeks? Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. okay. We are. Uh, I mean, how far is it to Botan? Like a fucking day and a half. Oh. Uh... It's literally like down the road. Yeah. I don't okay. Think we're gonna but, be there that long. Okay, then yeah, just back to the northern oasis. But uh, yeah, let's, let's take our leave and start heading to Botan. Very well. Well. <clears throat> Pop you up to the overworld. You know, see, Bot Botan's literally down the hill. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. Do, 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 do. Ski daddling all the way through. Going through Jamar. <coughs> Jamar. Ski daddling all the way down to Botan. Oh, let me make sure Botan doesn't have anything weird in it right now. <laughs> Where are our characters? Oh, they're all over there. Linked. Now I gotta draw two new characters. I forgot uh, these deep places. Brown. It is indeed very busy. It is very one busy. of the main fucking cities. Okay. Orange. Orange. Okay. Here's down at the gate. Here's down at the gate. God, this is busy. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fall wide around. This is this is his adventure here. Well, uh, it is, I believe, one silver to get into the gate. Yep, I'll pay it. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Okay. Wyatt, where are you going? Um. Uh, the, uh, the imbuer 
replace. Magic magic imbue replace. Ugh, Ruin Smith. Okay, mm you walk up to the room. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, hello. Say hello. Uh, how's it going? Uh, how's it going? <gasps> sorry. Um, sorry. Would you be able to imbue my uh, belt here with uh, two spells? Uh, two spells. And what are the spells? What are the spells? Uh, those spells would uh, those be, spells alarm be alarm and. Uh, uh, e call? You said? Call? You said. Was it recall? I don't recall? I don't remember the name of the throne item thing. Oh. Of the weapon thing. The throne it's an artif item. artificer infusion. Yeah, because word of recall word is fucking recall. sixth level. So unless you so plan on fucking. Yeah. Paying, paying a lot, yeah. a lot. Whatever the artificer infusion is, for, like, but it's like if you throw a weapon, it always comes back to you. An alarm is a weird one because, well, alarm is a space thing. Like if you pass through a space, it, it depends on what you're trying to do with it. Like you're trying to have just any time someone comes close to you, you get a notification. No, I think of no, it I... as a uh, I throw it on the ground, at like, at like, at a at a place, uh, and then. If I need to get out need to of get out. place in a hurry, I just have it come back to me. Actually. Yeah, the artificer thing is only for weapons. Returning weapon, uh, returns to the wielder's hand immediately after is used to make a ranged attack. Mm. Yeah, but it's not like a teleport thing, it like flies back. And recall is? is. No, word of recall no, is the... Recall. The, I set a specific place I want this to be, and I can go back to it. Okay. Which would be much closer to what you're going for, but also like... Nah, it's yeah. the, he's got the Wumbo belt from Spongebob. He turns the M upside down to Wumbo and it teleports him somewhere. Yeah. The, the, best, the best I could try to do is uh, fucking attach a Ring a spell storing into it and fucking try to imbue it that way. And how but then you can only goes? have up to five levels of spell in it. Uh, you'd have to you'd have to buy a ring of storing. Cause I don't carry those on hand. Now, how much would it cost for you to imbue, imbue it? I mean, realistically, it's just attaching a ring to a belt, so it would not cost much. Like fucking. 10 gold. However, you'd have to refill the ring every single time you use it. Mm. And would you able to would you be able to do it without the ring or is the ring needed? For for two separate spells, the ring would be needed. I see. What about just one spell? What about just one spell? One spell is doable with most things, yeah. How much would it cost to do the word of recall? Uh a lot. I have a fair amount of gold. Six hundred twenty-two gold. Cost about five thousand gold pieces. Hmm. I see. See. See, a level one spell is one hundred. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time, sir. Uh, you m may see me may in the distant me. future. Before we leave, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him and say you work with you know, various magical mediums, right? Yeah. You ever dealt with magical tree sap in any of your uh, workings? Let's say, uh, heard of it. Heard never, it. never had any of it. You never know offhand rather anyone. Rather to get to. Right, right. You know anyone offhand that has worked with it that might be in this town? Seeing as it's such an illustrious town. If there, if there's anyone that would, it would be 
one of the higher adventurers from the guild, and realistically the only patron of the town that has dealt with weird shit like that is uh, Mr. Skynard. And is he easy to get an audience with? Is, can I just like walk up to his office or whatever? Doesn't have an office, he's almost never here. Yeah. He stops by for about a day with a party, and then leaves. Mm. Every now and then he'll return at night, but uh, that's a that's a if you're lucky to see him. Right. Do you know of anyone in any city that might work with it? The dwarves. I imagine it's have a habit of working with weird, weird types of mediums. You try mm -hmm. them. Um, however, they are the rumored to have their own version or source of sap, and they allegedly don't like to let outsiders look at it. Mm, okay. Well, the considering only other the thing I could think of, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe the Angel City has something. Whether they have a tree, I just don't know how eager they are going to be to part with the sap of it. You know, yeah, that's a yeah, that's, that's very uh, up to them kind of thing. Yeah, do you know of anyone that might sell it? Like, if you yourself were going to work with it, who would you go to to buy it? Honestly, the most the most dealable people would be the angels. Mm -hmm. Um, but I could not. I feel like that's one of those like you got to talk to the big dog up there. Gotcha. As it is well, considered a sacred tree. Gotcha. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. I'm going to flip him one gold. Thank you very much. That's all I really got to do. What you got going on, Wyatt? <coughs> <coughs> I'm currently dying. Um, Apparently. Let's go to the uh, the guild. The guild. Take it away. I'm gonna let you do the talking on this one. Okie dokie. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say, hey, uh, Doug, do you wanna you wanna join the guild? I heard about it. it seems pretty cool. The yeah. guild. Yeah. Well, so, I uh, I've been part of a guild before. Um, more of a well, not really part of a guild as much as I was a tool of a, a guild. You uh, think you me to kill a lot of people? Um, <coughs> well, it's various missions uh, that you do. Are some of them killing people? That's really my, my fucking expertise. Uh, some of them can be, yeah. Are there any rules? They got any rules? Not a big fan of rules. Uh, not necessarily. You just kind of have to get the job done, and they pay you. I don't think they really care uh, how how you get the job done. Oh, I like that. I like that. <coughs> A means to an end type guild. Mm -hmm. I uh could be interested. All right. So, uh, what's the what's the benefit of joining them as opposed to just doing stuff? Uh, so you know how we. Uh, Ask those uh, temple people to pay us to do that all that stuff. All that stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's like that, but more steady. Like more steady. Mm. Like more steady. Well, uh, let me kill people. I'm pretty down for it. Okay. Is there like any like benefits to membership, or is it just the jobs? Uh, well, you get more money. With each like level you are, almost like a pyramid. Scheme. Like a pyramid. Mm, and you had me, and you lost me. I'm kidding. Much like ranks in the military, how you get paid more per rank. I I wouldn't know about that, but okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Not saying that the military ranking system is a pyramid scheme, but you know. I'll gladly say that. I'll 100 percent say that. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, if this is something you're keen on doing, you know, I'm here for you, buddy. Uh, yeah, 
And then I'm gonna step into the guild. Yep, you guys are at the guild. Uh, the front desk lady says, welcome. This is the Adventurers Guild. How may I help you? Uh, no, you do the talk of Wyatt. Hi, uh, I am interested, or we are interested in joining the guild. Very well. Uh, you will start off at the lowest rank. As always, there is a 10 gold registry fee. How many missions do you have that involve killing people? Uh, realistically, there's usually about one a day. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Are there, uh, any of your proprietors, clients, gnomes? I mean, every now and then a gnome will post a thing, but that's, uh... And you have something on file that says I don't work for gnomes. I, just, I don't. I, I don't mean, do we it. Definitely I, put it in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. T I'm gonna hand her the ten gold, take whatever paperwork, and I'm gonna write my name "Dead Gnomes" on the paperwork, <laughs> and <laughs> fill it out, and hand it back. Very, very interesting name. Do you have anything else I can call you by? Doug. Very well, Dead Gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a. Fl I'm a flipper of gold. Oh, I thank you. Let me see. Uh, let me see if I got a got any quests up right now. And or some shit. Ah yes, the quest from a different time. Bygone era. She's going to say, these are the quests. Uh, I don't have any that specifically are for uh, killing people. However, Still there are me. some... <laughs> I mean, shit, if you can fucking knock his ass out by far no. Um, however, there are some rats in the sewer that do need to be cleaned out. <laughs> rats. Okay. Are they R-O-U-S's? Rodents of unusual size. They they are they are large. They also are small. Well, I'm gonna look at fear and be like, you uh, want to go fucking kill some rats? I would love to. Might get, I'd love to. Might get lucky, and there might be a gnome down there. <laughs> they are essentially the same thing. I would look at him like his rat. Is rat code word for no? Because I'm cool with it. I'm fine. You can just say no. I mean, if you feel any, if you find any gnomes down there, they're most likely also not up to some good, any good. So uh, feel free, feel free to handle it. And uh, how much are we getting paid for such, such, such rat slaying? It is thirty silver for every rat head. Ah, huh. <laughs> I like these terms. These terms are indeed agreeable. I enjoy getting paid by the head. Reminds me of a simpler time. And uh, yeah, we'll, t we'll take that quest. Very well. <coughs> uh, let's see. The entrance to the sewers is down by the guard towers at the bottom right. I'm not going to head in the sewers just quite yet. I'm going to look at something real quick. I would like to go to... Is there some place that sells scrolls here? Yes. I would like to... Uh, 
go to the scroll shop. Oh, you guys buy... can find a giant weasel. Interesting. Indeed, interesting. But uh, yeah, I'd like to go to the scroll shop. Okay. Now there is the pawn shop, the library, which actually like sells scrolls. The markets, or the runesmith that makes scrolls. Probably the library. It's just a level one spell scroll I'm looking for. Very well. Very well. There's also a bakery. Also a bakery. I, feel I like am indeed to gonna need the bakery. Oh, nope, bakery it is. Bakery. But uh, yep. You're at the bakery. Go. You're at the bakery. All right, I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna say hello there. Hi. I'm. How may uh, I help you? I'm, I'm looking for <coughs> some bread. It doesn't necessarily have to be. You know, it could be a day old loaf. I'm not looking for the cream of the crap right now. Just something to to feed a pet of mine. I'm gonna say yeah. Uh, we can absolutely offer you uh, yesterday's bread if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. You wanna you wanna sack of five for one copper? Sounds good to me. Very well. You now have five stale loaves of bread. All right, and now is there an herbalist in town? There's an alchemist. Uh, let's go to the alchemist. Wait, I've got a, I've got a plan here. I see where this is going somewhere. The library, the library is library. on the right. The alchemist is a little farther down left. You want to go to the library first? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you are in the library. We're in the library. All right, I'm gonna say hello, good sir. I am Ma looking. But thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, fucking, I guess. Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> God. I'm say I am looking for a spell scroll for the spell Beast Bond. That be something you can help me with. Beast Bond. Beast Bond. I'm sure we have it somewhere. The level one spell, but I guess I would like one scroll of that if you don't mind. Where are we? See what these bondos First level divination. Yeah, that'll cost yeah, that'll uh cost that'll cost fifty gold. Fifty gold. Fifty gold. Sounds fair, sounds fair. Take that. Um I would also like one scroll of Animal Friendship. Also first level? Also first level. <clears throat> that will also be 50 gold then. Alright. Here is another 50 gold. And uh, it's actually going to be uh, 51 gold. As I am tipping her, 1 gold. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then I'm going to need to go to the uh, fucking alchemist. Okay. Down the street, down to the alchemist. Probably spending more gold than this quest will ever fucking get us, but it's worth it for the elaborateness. Indeed. I don't quite We're have. We're at the alchemist. I have quite a grasp on the concept of money yet, but I'm gonna walk in and say, "Hey, howdy." I'm How's uh. It going? Going good. I'm on a quest for the guild, actually, to take care of some rats. I was wondering if you could pick up, pick up, whip up some particularly potent rat poison for me. Hmm. I do have rat poison. That is, that is a thing I have. Okay. Um. Now there might be some ROUSs down there. Is it, is that going to be enough to uh, do some damage to the big boys too? 
It should take a, it should do about around a d10 of damage per. Okay. I'm going to hand him four of the five loaves of bread. Say, would you mind uh, infusing said poison into these loaves of bread, please? Absolutely. And how much do I owe you? Oh, that'll be uh, gold for each thing. Okay, so four As gold. I'm essentially just pouring the poison into the bread. Yes. I'm uh, going to hand him five gold and take my four loaves of poison bread and put them in the sack, and I'm going to put one good loaf of bread like in another compartment on my body, on my little backpack, to keep them separate. And, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much set up. You, uh, you ready to handle these rats, Wyatt? Yeah. It says... Let's get it. Very well. Alright, let's get it. Down to the far fucking thing. All the way down to the bottom right hand. There's a little entrance into the sewers. And then we go over to the map thing and we jump over to the sewers. I make little circles for the sewers. Oh, what's my distance for these? That is large. We cut that in half. So let's make it five. Yep. Not red. All right. Orange. So why? Uh, I'm sure you've picked up on the plan. Yep. Um, but, uh, yeah, Jordan, first thing I'm doing is I'm going to look for just any rat. Hold on a second. Big, small, doesn't matter. Just a rat. Okay, fucking, uh, the fucking things are ready. Do you have torches? I do, yes. I don't. Nice. Can I shall light give my you... staff of fire on fire? Without, like, expending a charge? And, and no. Instead of a torch, though, it's just like a little thing pops up at the top of my head. A little lamp. Dunk! <laughs> <laughs> I take my cowboy hat off and I drill a little hole in it at the very top so a little thing can pop out. A little flap? Yep. <laughs> Emergency torch flap. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm just looking for the first rat that I can come across. Okay, you guys are just posing along? If I find a yep. stick and I, around, I'm going to pick it up. I'm looking for just, preferably, you know, not a giant rat. Maybe a giant rat. I don't know. A rat, a solitary rat, though. A rat that's kind of by itself. Like I said, the first one that I come across. That's the wrong thing. That's what you see. You turn the corner and uh, you see three giant rats. Are they all? Are they all three giant? Okay. Yes. I am going to uh, sneak. I'm gonna uh, like push fear back. I'm gonna get around this corner right here. And I'm going to set out the... I'm going to tear the good loaf of bread in half. And set it down, like, right here. Where, when, like, once they come and see it, I'll be able to see them. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to try and make some... I'm just going to kind of clang around. You know what I mean? I'm not saying anything or you know, opening my mouth. But I'm kind of, like, rustling around. Trying to get it to uh, attract it to the bread. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're making some sounds. Uh, let's let's have a let's have a roll for that for uh, animal persuasion. handling. Persuasion. Oh, persuasion. Fourteen. That feels persuasive enough to get two of them. Cool. They start making their way downtown. Okay. 
They pop around to the corner and investigate the bread. Bread. No, I giant am... rats. They are like two, three feet. Like, like the like the tiny Dark Souls ones. Okay. 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 Like I am huge. going to uh, tear off pieces of bread and try and get it to get close. Like I'm going to back up and just tear <laughs> off pieces of bread. Like leave him a trail of bread. Trying to get it to follow me. Okay. I'm going to have you roll uh, one for animal handling and persuasion. Two rolls. Should I help? Should I assist? No. The first one is going to be the animal handling. The second is the persuasion. Well, the first one's a 20, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna let you do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to get them to follow me further like toward the entrance. Okay. And I'm going to whisper to fear. I'm going to say, on my signal. All right, they have they have aggroed onto you. All right, and I'm flinging two darts into the uh, one closest to me. Okay, one second. It is. I'm going to have you roll initiative for this entire cave. Okay. God damn. You like it, Jake? You like it, Jake? My drawing. I didn't. I didn't see it. Hold on. Hold on. Don't unclick it. I do indeed like a drawing. They got a nine. Do I uh, do I get to attack first since I kind of snuck up on them? Yes. Or just, I okay. got a twelve, Jordan. I got a twelve. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you get your surprise yeah, attack first. Surprise. Okay. So that one didn't hit. For somebody who didn't roll both dice, when I do that, assuming the first one does not hit. Armor class is 12. Okay. Six damage. Yep. Yep. Nice. nice. It kind of, it kind of like stumbles back. It's like, ow. Me? Yeah. Yes, why did you? Yes, why did you? Okay. I'm okay. going to. I'm going. Uh, I'm just going to run up. Uh, run up. Uh, do you, Jake, do you want one alive? Do you want one alive? No, no, no. I'm killing both of these. Okay. This is the one I hit, so you probably want to engage this one. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm running up <clears> to <throat> this guy. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm going to whack it uh, with my oh, uh, three six inch death. Eleven plus five. You five, do be hit. You do be hit. If I do be hit, I do be hit. Then boom. Okay. And then I'm gonna use a bonus gonna action to unarm strike to unarm. Okay. Hit it with that quack quack. Oh. oh. That's, that's an extra damage. You have to do a second melee attack to do that? Oh, yeah, you yeah, have to actually roll. I hit. You <laughs> definitely hit. You do definitely, two damage. Definitely kill that rat. Like it has a seven health okay. thing. You know what? You hit uh, so hard, the other one died of shock because it also had seven health. Okay. Six. I am going to uh, take my backpack. I'm going to cut the heads off both those rats and put them in. Okay. And uh, I am not next. going to keep track of your head count, so that is all. I will. You. I will. Trust me. I'll keep track. I'll keep track of my heads. I'm uh, next. I'm going to. Very slowly approach. I'm gonna turn the corner and very slowly approach this rat until I am. Hold on. What's the fucking range on that? Third feet. I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna slowly approach this rat right here. So it's thirty. I'm thirty feet from it. Right there. One second, I'm adding all the rats in the cave. Gotcha. <clears throat> well, it's really out here critting on the, the one damage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry. Okay. I am back I'm to back. where you guys are. All right. What are you trying to do? Just kill this.
this one as well. Kill this one as well. No, 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 no. I'm not kill this one. I'm gonna pick up whatever little crumbs of bread that those two rats left. Um, mm -hmm. And again, I'm, I'm gonna get close to this one within 30 feet. I'm approaching slowly, trying not to appear threatening. And once okay. I'm within 30 feet, I'm gonna use the scroll of animal friendship on it. Hold on a sec. And that doesn't have a save or anything, it just can't have an intelligence higher than four. I hope this rat does not have an intelligence higher than four. Fun facts, it's two. Nice. I'm pretty sure if it's higher than four, they can speak or the eligible, or legible sentences, right? Sentences, right? That's true, six. that's true, yes. Six is okay. Oh, six, okay. So I'm going to hit it with the animal friendship spell. Okay. And then I'm going to use my scroll of beast bond. Telepathically communicate with it. So okay. it's essentially charmed. Essentially. And, I, talk and I believe one of those, the, the beast bond one, is only 10 minutes. Beast bond is only 10 minutes, yeah. But we should wrap that up quicker than that. I'm going to hand, I'm going to, you know. Kind of stick my hand out and offer it some of the good food, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm kind of like beckon it closer. I'm going to hand it some of the good food. And I'm going to say, hey, buddy. Okay, circle, aren't you? What for? So this one's going to be... <clears throat> your your oh, friend is, is not friend? yellow. Okay, okay. I'm going to hand him that. I'm going to hand him a good food. I'm like, hey, bud. I've got some food for you guys. Can you, uh, like, let's walk through the tunnels and gather all your buddies up. Um, and then we can give them all the food at the same time. Interesting concepts. Yep, so I'm going to try to get him to walk through the tunnels with me, essentially call out the other rats and get him to come out and to follow me. I'm going to have okay. like, little pieces of the good bread that I'm going to be giving each rat that I come across to just go like, hey, look, I got food. <clears throat> Rats are online. They do not need, and they don't have anything weird. Good to know. Neat. Raining okay. outside. So you're having the rat lead, I take it? Yep. Alright. So, fucking. Mm -hmm. You will have to make yeah. animal handling rolls for each rat you come across. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, but the second okay. you successfully do one, you will not have to make it for it again. Okay. So I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. Alright, first two okay, rats. First two rats. Uh, so it's a 7 and a 14. What's your, What's your animal handling addition? Uh, plus 1. So you only got 1. Okay. Can I try? So to... 1 will not follow you. Oh, they just won't follow 1 will not follow me? Follow. Okay. They're not inherently aggressive. Okay. 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 But, uh, yeah, in that case, yeah, I'm just going to keep going along. I'm trying to get him to call out. I want the rats to come to me, essentially. I don't want to have to go find them. Right. Where are you going? Five. Um, this is a dead end, correct? Correct. Dead ends at the rats? Okay. Yep, I'm just going to walk up to them, and I'll, I'll make my rolls for them. Okay. They will not be aggressive until you do damage. <laughs> okay. So we got an 11, a 12, two 18s, and another 12. That all works. Okay. You know, each one I'm giving just a little tiny little piece of bread. Okay. And then we're going to walk... fucking horde of rats coming with <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm going to walk uh, up this way. Okay. And I'm going to see what's going on down these two hallways. Doug the rat whisper. <laughs> Should. I am actually, so if you think about it, I'm around a whole lot of dead bodies, so I am quite potent with rats. Mm -hmm. I'm going should, this way again. Should this little guy here see six rats with us and be like, hey, I should follow them? 
No, he's fine. He's fine. Okay. He just he, he just wasn't interested. He 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 eaten already today. He was full. Okay. All right. So that will be five throws. Okay. Okay. That twenty will get you an extra one. Okay. So you get three. Three. Okay. Add it to your little rat posse. And I'm gonna walk past them and see if there's anything up for this one. Mm. Yep, and go to the intersection. Just a bunch of rats following along. <laughs> Just a whole bunch of rats saying they're being real cool. I'm gonna name each gonna one. Name each. Anything uh north? Oh yeah, shit, my bad. <laughs> uh, yep, I'm gonna come grab these rats, make my rolls. <clears throat> I believe all but one, correct? Uh, yeah, plus one to every roll I have on this. Ten is indeed the number to beat, so that's what I'm that's what I'm going with. Gotcha. And you are rolling nice head, well. Head north. If it were me rolling these, I'd have two rats following me. Rats following. Me. Awesome. No, you'd have none because you'd, you'd roll a one and they'd all attack you. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Count up to these guys. More bread. <clears throat> Ooh, it's uh, once again four rats. Trying to, I'm trying to. So this trail is getting a little long. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm like swinging my arms. You ever seen like a line of <laughs> kindergartners walking through school? Yeah. I got a little rope connecting them. That's what I'm doing. It's like, all right, everybody, let's go. Come on. <laughs> singing songs. Line up, everybody. Line up, line up, line up, everybody. Yep. Up this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll again for my rats. You said you have, you have poison. Okay. Poison. I'm not feeding them the poison ones, no. I'm just feeding them like little nibbles of the good red. That's yeah, two rats that follow me. Two? Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's roll through. I'm just saying, this kind of reminds me of some... Something in... In a later history later. that has happened. Yeah, I'm gonna be this honest, way again. not at all how I thought this would go, and I, this is way better. <laughs> 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 so this is exponentially funnier. Uh, yep, going up to these rats. Rolls. Ah, God damn it! Mmm, you lost a rat. Damn it. <laughs> so that is, however, you pick it up three. Net gain of two. Indeed, net gain of two. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add the two to the back. <laughs> Mosey along. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm so not fucking gonna be able to drag all these rats all the way if they, if they kind of phase through the wall a bit. Oh no, they'll be there. <laughs> and then, yep, and I'm gonna roll my other... Maybe 20... Three rats. Three? Which way are you going? Mmm... I'm gonna head... Let's go this way first, because I'm pretty sure it loops around. Okay. Let's go... Okay, yeah, 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 we'll go that way. We can see more rats. One second, extra rats. <laughs> <clears throat> so you got three with that last one? Yeah. It's like we're driving a semi-truck now. And that's two rats. That was... Oh, shit, there's three packs of rats here. So I'll roll another 10d20. <laughs> How many you set for the other one? Two? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rats. So a total of nine extra rats. 
<laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> friend. This is stupid. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna kind of see that that loops around, and I'm gonna go back this way. <laughs> you can do some fuck shit here. Some some spatial realignment. Some spatial spatial construction. Mm-hmm. Whole gaggle. So you're going down first? Yeah, I'm going down this way. I'll just I'll open up this area for you real quick. That is, that is okay. just straight fucking. Yeah. Okay, I can't fucking turn. God damn. Let me fucking Let me rotate. Fucking rotate. Absolutely. <laughs> He said, too many rats! <laughs> too many rats! <laughs> Some rats phase through the wall, one on the other side of the wall. <laughs> I'm somehow keeping this really close to not phasing through the wall. It's actually impressive. And uh, I'll, I'll make another roll. Three rats. Three, three rats. rats. Three rats. Three rats. Three rats. Does uh, this go anywhere? Or is that just a dead end? It rotates, yeah. But I'm not going to be able to fit all of your rats in there. That's fine. There are no, there are no more other rats over there, though. You have seen all the rats. <laughs> oh, all the rats here. in general, or all the rats over here? There are no rats down that tunnel. There are no rats in okay. that little hidden area. All right, Make sure. There I'm going are no to, uh... areas you missed. I still want to go down this area. Like, is there? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We, we'll have time. We'll have time. Okay. But uh, I'm going to take us further down this hall, like still in a line. And uh, I'm going to take out the bag of poison bread and tear it up into a whole bunch of tiny... Well, actually, before that, let me count the fucking rats. So I know <laughs> how many goddamn rats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, take 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 18. 62. What are you doing? <clears throat> I was messing you up as you can't mess you up. I already got him. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I now cannot see if there's a rat under where I'm clicking. You should probably stop clicking then. So what's your plan here? What's your plan here? I'm gonna poison the rats. I was thinking, I was thinking, we corner them, or them. I firewall, firewall. <laughs> and I, don't I, got, I got, I got an idea. I got an idea. You got it. You got it. I got an idea. Okay. Oh, we'll, we'll see when he gets back. We're still gonna have to kill some rats, but yeah. I, I, I think we can take out a majority of them. What is what is the plan? <clears throat> what you doing? Gotcha. Hmm? Where is where is the guy? Where is where is the guy? I've uh, I've created another character, a better kind of character. Mind monk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is about you, NRC. You make some real shit monk stat wise. I've never made a fighter before, so I didn't know what what I was doing. I've only gotta made read, why? You gotta before. read. I did read. It, I just didn't use the book because the book was not available when I made this guy. Oh. You know, so for monks, you want to go dexterity, then wisdom, and then constitution. Mm -hmm. Is it a dexterity? I mean, assuming you're using either a finesse weapon or your fists. 
if you want to use like the quarter staff, which is not a finesse weapon, you do need strength. Dexterity. Your armor class is going to wisdom modifier plus 10. And then you want constitution because you're just going to be in the fight. So you're going to get hit. Yeah. So my, my new so guy next time. is a human monk mm -hmm. named Ishii. Mm -hmm. And you said humans instantly get a feat, right? Human variants do. What does that mean? There's two races. There's human and then human variant. It's just a variant rule set for the humans. Now humans get plus one in every stat. Yeah. Human variants only get two plus ones in stats of your choice and then a feat. Oh. Oh well. That's fine. This guy has a feat. I has a feat. Um, and it's um, the cruel feat. Cruel. Feet. What's that do? Uh, and it's uh, you have it's, have uh. uh you have cruelty have die, die, like cruelty dice, dice, mm -hmm. um, and you can roll can one of them, roll per one turn. of them per, and, and uh, you can use them in certain circumstances. Circum Those circumstances are when you deal damage to a creature, you can spend one cruelty die to deal I extra did. damage to the creature equal to half the roll, er, ah. equal to the roll, mm. and and the die are like uh, d sixes. Interesting. Uh, and then there's a another one where, uh, where it's when you score a critical hit, spend one hit cruelty spend die to gain die temporary hit gain points temporary. equal to the roll. Uh, or make a charisma uh, back. slash intimidation check, spend one Intimidate cruelty die and add the roll to your check. check. And that's it, I think. I'm back. I'm back. Interesting. But yeah, so what I'm doing is, is I'm going to take out the poison bread. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to uh, tear it up in little pieces, and I'm walking through the rats, dropping the bread as I go. And I want to end up at the sort of the mouth here. And then okay. I'm just going to sit back and watch. <clears throat> Are you taking your friendly rat with you? Yes, yes. His name is Are Steve, you? and he is, yeah, he's staying with me. He is not eating okay. the poison bread, by the way. Okay. Did you count how many were in your group? Yes, 35. 35 okay. that are following me, plus two at the bottom, and then there's three here. Okay, make 40 d10 rolls. Just above average. All right, count everything five and below. Five and below. One, Not two, counting three, the one. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty of them are below five, but not ones. Imagine how painful this would be if we didn't have the app, or if we didn't have the website. It'd be painful. Very well, you have killed a little over half. All right. However, oh. the rest are all angry now. Correct. Hey, uh, Wyatt? Yes. <laughs> Remember your plan to fire breath them? Yes. You want to go ahead and, uh, you want to go ahead and, uh... Would that be a fire ball to... and fire breath, or just fire breath? Well, we need them to have noticeable fire, like, rat heads. Well, I don't need them fucking disintegrated. Just charred. charred. Just charred. Okay. Just cooked. Okay. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave that. You're you're the fire expert, man. You're you're a, a literal dragon person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna leave the fire up to you. Okay. Just remember, okay. I'm gonna keep their heads intact. I'm gonna step forward a bit, crack my knuckles crack in front of me. Me me me. La la la. La la la. And then take a deep breath in and scream. Exhaling fire. fire. Uh, so I'm about here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna beckon you to kind of get these guys as I'm doing this, like handle these guys, handle these guys. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I'm sending Steve backwards. By the way, Steve is he's he's going back. He's going back to the intersection, like against the wall. Does it say the you don't need to see this. I believe it's a. I don't know if gold is the cone of the line. 
your draconic ancestry determines size, shape, and damage. Hang on. Yeah, so look up, find, find the chart for gold. Gold, fire, 15 fire. feet. 15. Cone. 15 foot cone. Uh, so just put me right on top of them. I don't know if you have that movement speed. I have 40 feet. It's 40. Move fucking 15. I was here, right? I was here, right? Yep. Yeah, he was right next to me. And then I and breath attack. Breath attack. And that's gonna be that's a deck a... saving throw, I believe. I'm only making one. Yes. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. And they have a plus eight, two dice. Eight plus constitution plus, cons plus proficiency. So eight. Eight. Plus. Two plus, plus two plus two. Okay. So twelve. So twelve. They all save, right? They all save, right? Yep. Yep. That's half as much. Half as much. Uh. Yeah. One d six. Five. Five. Uh, uh, uh mark out fifteen feet from you. Uh, and then I'm going uh, to, and then I'm going to... By the way, 40 uh, was, what was what, what was in this channel, including the 5 you did not tame. Okay. Okay. Oh, I have, I have some oh, I have, yeah, I'm, I have good. Some I'm gonna stay here. Uh. Alright, that brings us to the rats. Oh, that's right, I rolled initiative, it was just shit. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Please tell me they're shooting something at me. I really want to reflect something. Really this is going to be so cool. The rat actually pops a crossbow out of its back. <laughs> <laughs> oh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> With a plus four to hit. R slash? Yeah, slash, slash R. R. What? You could fireball your feet because you're immune to fire. Oh, true. <laughs> oh, do I have to space? Yes. Yeah, slash yeah, R, space. Slash R. space. Do you want me to do it for you? you want me to do it? Yeah, you got it. I got it. I just don't use this enough to fucking... <coughs> Remember. No. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Jesus <coughs> Please. Believe. Please. I believe every single one of those except the except seven, seven hit. What's their modifier? But it hit anyway because plus four. Yep, everything but the sub. So that is. Slash. Slash R. Slash R. 74. Why 14 Quiet. damage? Okay. Jake. That was both hit, both hit. Jake five damage. I'm sorry, they all have a plus to their attacks. Wyatt, an extra 14 damage, so 28. I am dead. God damn. I am conscious. Jake. Mm. Nine damage. Nine damage. Why did I take the extra? Why did I take the extra? Because it is a D4 plus two, and I didn't factor in the plus two. Ah. Uh. But it's per attack. Straight up, gang violence on Wyatt. 
Indeed. Yeah, Indeed. I think we all just die here. I don't have anything I can help here. Mm. Do the fear thing. Playing, uh, I'm playing the pipes of haunting. Nice. Uh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. You said this rat isn't. This rat's within melee range, right? Mm hmm. Are they both within melee range? Yes. Yes. Fuck it. I'm, I'm still going, like, right here. Mm hmm. I'll take the opportunity attack hits. You only you only get one because you're still walking around. One. Eh, no. Nah, are you going like right there? Yep. They both. They both. Oh no, one hits. That's fucking three damage. Three damage. Okay. And yep, I'm playing the pipes of hunting. Very well. That well. is a thirty round, correct? Yep. <clears throat> thirty. Should, should hit all the rats. You grazing that one, but yeah, that'll hit. Um, if you go into the... No, I... Yeah, my safe might have a bottle of CLP, you just... Okay. Alright, they are all right, frightened and will free. not come near you. Okay. However, there is still bread on the ground. Mm hmm So, on that note, on since that. it is still your turn, make... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. 11 D10s. 11 D10s. Okay, the 10 and the 1's cancelled out. I only see one that is below 5. You have killed all of them. Nice. That was not a gimmick that was planned from the beginning, I just want you to know. <laughs> what? I was gonna have them fucking roll each time for eating bread. Oh. Yeah. Because they are literally dumbass rats. And why it just literally got one shot by fucking a game yeah. of rats. <laughs> I, I was expecting a slightly higher roll on the damage of that fire. Or the, I was hoping it was the line of fire, because then he could just flunk. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh. On that note, it is Wyatt's turn for saving throws. Gross, that's a save. Uh, which brings us to the rats. The rats. The rats. The rats. The rats. We are the rats. We haunt at night. We stalk. I'm not going to move that rat to you. It cannot get close to me. Okay. Okay. Jake, it's your turn. Jake, it's your turn. I'm hucking two darts at the rat. Very well. Very well. Oop. That just seems to kill. Oh, no, that's a d20. Oh, yeah, that's a 20. I'm just going to kill that one. Yeah, that's, that rat's probably dead. <clears throat> and uh, after that, I'm going to run over and I'm going to stabilize Wyatt and feed him another potion. Do believe that counts as another turn. Did you use your action to throw darts? It will then be the rat's turns. Who are creeping, creeping. Now, it is why it started for saving throw. I thought Jake stabilized me. That was his next turn. Okay. Yep. Okay. Plus, I want to see you fail. Nope, that's a save. Okay, Jake, your turn. Okay, Jake, you're stabilizing him. Yep, and feeding him a health potion. Very well. Why roll your health potion? Regular one? Yep, 2d4 plus 2. Get shit on. Seven health. Yep. And as I pick you up, I'm gonna say, "You really, we really gotta stop doing this, man." Mm -hmm. Oh, these like pipes have come in. These pipes have come in like super clutch, though. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> they, really, they really saved us. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna say you need to, uh, yeah, you need to get your shit together, bud. Also, no, I, like... uh, as you get up, as you get up, you throw up a shit ton of water. <laughs> okay. Ew.
I'm gonna get some on me. I'm gonna go ew. Okay, so I believe it is now rats' turns. Oh, brass yep. is the line, not gold. Oh well. Yeah. Quiet turn. Quiet turn. Bonus action on Bonus taking action. a potion of greater healing. Uh, Man got one shot by a bunch of rats. <laughs> 44 plus 4, 13. Mind you, there were five outside five. the tunnel, so these fucking seven count seven. to 45. Okay. Why, you have a bag of holding, right? Yep. Do you want me to carry all the rat heads? Yep. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like any fucking isekai fantasy anime where he's like, you gotta collect eighteen flowers, and he's gonna come back with like fucking a thousand of them. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm going to run up to this rat. I am going to before you do that recommend that you uh well actually yeah that's probably a good idea. Fuck. I have enough health. I'm almost max health with that greater. Okay. Greater. Okay. Uh, I'm running up to this rat and fire breathing again. Okay. Send it with the rolls. That is on you. That is on you. on you. They did not say. They did not say. Two d six. All right. That's oh, that's oh, hang on. That's three. That's enough for me. They go black. Take two d tens and then your turn. Seven and five. I don't know why I rolled that. Alright, I'm going to uh, use my telepathic link to Steve and say, Steve, please, I need help because I can't force him to do it. It's not mind control. But he likes me a whole lot and I can use words with him. I say, Steve, protect us. I don't know what happened. I'm going to try and get him to uh, body these rats over here and charge at them. <laughs> Straight charging. Okay, uh, roll for animal handling. Stevie, fucking piece of shit. No! Okay, not a one. Not a one. He said, uh, he said, no, that's weird. Mm, I don't like the taste of rat. Okay, I'm gonna say, uh, thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna stay here, and I'm gonna ready. So that if okay. they get within range, I can tuck my darts at them. Now, does that I don't want to be close to them. make it 20 feet for the range? It's just whatever my range is, yeah. So 20 feet, yep, yeah, 20 feet. 20 feet is the throwing range. Okay, so I do believe they will be in range. Right, and then thun -thun, two darts fly at that first rat. Oh, my fucking neck. Oh, that's fucking nice. God it's damn one. it. It's one. No. No, I know what you're gonna do. Don't do it. No. <laughs> no. Roll damage. No. Steve. Steve. No. It's above his health. No. Oh, come on. Oh, you killed Steve. That's no. 46 hits. <laughs> no. Steve. Oh, no. I'm gonna let out a single tear for Steve. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't cry, so you draw it on your face with chalk. Yeah, it's just hydraulic fluid leaks out of my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Wyatt, uh, I believe it's your turn. For Steve? No, well, I'm, I'm uh, actually pretty sure I skipped your turn with the rats. So, like, hey, it's your turn. How much more How distance much is the dash distance. action? Dash action. He moved twice. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm going to run up to here. Up. To, uh, and I spend uh, a key I point in doing that. But it gets me there. That's right. You can use your dash as a bonus action, don't? Can't you? As yep. a monk. It's called Step of the Wind. 
Hell yeah. Punch those rats. Punch it. Um, and with my momentum of me absolutely schmoving from across the hall, I would like to try to kick off the head of this rat. That's impressive. I'll allow the roll. Yeah, you gently dislocate his head from its spine. <laughs> oh god, just the <laughs> bones disconnect. Is intact. And it's a lolling around. Yep. <laughs> Basically a bobblehead rat that has uh, no movement, so that, that will count as a kill. Nice. I believe it is Jake's turn because I skipped Wyatt last time, so. Uh, I'm going to move 30 feet this way, just get on the side of the rat, and then two darts. Okay. Which one hits? Hits. Oh, unless you roll exceptionally low, yeah, no, it's dead. Yeah, okay. Dun -dun. And I'm going to kind of, uh, you know, relish in the. I'm just I'm covered in rat blood. I'm just fucking swamped in it. And it's going against my, uh, like, I, you know, I stained my, my skin, like, Two or three shades darker, so I just look real gross. And I'm gonna kind of like dust off my knees. I'm gonna drink one health potion. <clears throat> it's too okay. Close okay. Close to... God damn! I'm gonna restore my health. I'm gonna say uh, let's let's uh, let's get some rat heads. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to ripping. Yep, I'm gonna go around and I'll cut off the head of all the rat, and I'm just gonna like basketball shoot them into Wyatt's bag holding. <laughs> Like each time, an increasingly more comical toss. Like one's like between my legs, behind the back. Yep, and that Grandma is an additional. Style, like, but I'm I'm every head but Steve. I'm still cutting off Steve's head, by the way. But I'm not putting his in the bag. His is staying with me. Okay. You're putting his head on That's, your head, like on top of the couch. <laughs> that is 45 rat heads for a total of 47 rat heads in the bag. Indeed. Uh, it's like, 47 right rat heads. <laughs> <laughs> rat head. Quantity. 47. Description. Head. Of. Rat. <laughs> What's their weight? 5 pounds each. Magical item. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. <sighs> you look over and be like, Good work, brother. It was very well done with those darts of yours. I'm gonna give you a thumbs up. Okay. I'm going to, uh... Oh, my screen fucked up. Okay. I'm gonna head this way and see what's right there. I would like you to note that your feet have become soggy. I'm gonna go ew. Soggy? Soggy? Like, yes. With all the rat blood? No, with all the water. No, all he's the in water. a fucking sewer and his his feet are made of wood. Oh. Oh. I'm going ew. What's up that way? Oh, a chest. I'm gonna kind of twiddle my thumbs a bit. I'm gonna be like, you wanna do the honors? You're gonna be like, <gasps> And then just run towards the chest. Man takes a full <laughs> sprint toward the chest. <laughs> Galloping on all fours with my tail wagging. Oh my god. I'm gonna follow behind him. Okay. A rat head falls out of my bag of holding on my way there. Good. So that's 30 silver you're wasting. <laughs> Pick sorry. it up and throw it at you. What do I need? Okay. Uh, roll a d20. 
17. Nice. Roll me uh, <laughs> 3d6s. There's a fireball Jake, you also in the roll 3d6s. And also roll a d20. Okay. Jake, another 3d6s. Alright, you open the chest and literal fireball fucking shoots out and explodes. Wyatt, you take 13 damage. I mean, Jake, you take fire. a grand total. He's 17. Mean the fire. Very well, you don't take fire damage then. Why is there. What are these rats guarding? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take my 17 damage and go, well, that fucking sucks. I'm gonna offer and, you a uh, health potion. And I'm gonna bash I'm gonna take my, it because that, that left me with literally one health with me. Do you want to push <laughs> greater healing? Yeah. Alright. Which one is that? Uh, that'll be... Is that 44 plus 4? Yeah. Alright, uh, okay. So, why roll d10? Let's see if there's anything fun you get. Damn. Six. Six? I'm gonna also use my second wind thing to get to full health. 83. That's a neat one. <clears throat> Let's see what that does. Huh. You get the headband of intellect. That feels not broken. Not broken. I like that. Hmm. Jake, Jake, kindly roll me D10 and then the D100. Eight and eighty-four. <coughs> nice. Let me make a quick note. Get yes, intelligence yes. score. Intelligence Plus two Plus leather, armor. leather armor. Nice. Disgusting. Just imagine Disgusting. wearing armor. <clears throat> I like to wear the skin of living beings. Both of you roll a d10. Ten. Wyatt, you get a pearl. Jake, you get a tourmaline. Pearl. Pearl. What the hell did you just call me, boy? D O U R M A L I N E. Tourmaline. <laughs> Alright, well. Kinda sucks that I got blasted in the face with a goddamn fireball, but, you know, we live and we learn. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, that didn't feel good to you? You didn't like, you didn't like that? No, 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 I really like the warmth. I like the warmth. And then, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna say we go... This way, and then this way. Would you like to make a perception check? I would indeed make a perception check. Thirteen. You hear gentle babbling in the way you're going. Gentle babbling. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Jordan, I'm gonna physically edit uh, my intelligence level because it's not going up if I equip it. But I made a note of my previous intelligence level. Okay. I'm gonna kind of... Kind of slow my roll and see what is what is this. That looks like a room. Is it with a door shut? Nope. Wide fucking open. Wide open. That's an extremely I am detailed going... door compared to the rest of the dungeon. I was gonna say it's an extremely detailed <laughs> door. I like that door. I'm going to. I'm, I'm gonna creep closer. I'm gonna try and like stealthily, quietly creep closer. Like the Scooby Doo walk. Mm -hmm. Okay, make a stealth roll. <clears throat> Why you two? 
bad. Ooh. 13. Ooh. Not a one, though. Not a one. You hear the babbling just kind of gently just... Huh? That's a five, technically. I have a... Technically a five. <laughs> Didn't learn them, it um, just... Can I see what's in the room yet? Or am I still just kind of... Still just kind of there. Uh, I'm going to continue creeping forward. Same. Okay, one more stealth roll. Ooh. Jesus Christ, you guys are doing terrible. Nine. Nine. Twelve. And you're going to hear... In a loud, booming voice, go, who goes there? As you come up to the um, I'm going to stare I'm gonna directly put, at Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to stick my finger up to, to fear and just like, shh. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to continue to get closer. <laughs> you'll be like, Basically, you'll be like, whisper, up to the like, door. This is not honorable. They obviously know we're here. Know we're here. You peek I'm in, and him. he says, I said, who goes there? And as you Still peek in, responding. you see a, a like darker blue-ish beholder. Ooh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look at that. I'm gonna literally gonna say, I'm gonna go. Oh shit! I'm fucking booking it. I'm running. I'm not fucking with that thing. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gonna be like my friend. This is cowardly. I'm not responding. I'm literally just running. Quiet, are you staying behind? <clears throat> if he's running, I'm, I'm gonna follow him. <laughs> I am, uh... Why is this room then... so detailed? It's like well, three, you can get like, texture packs thing? and stuff. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. But, uh, I'm gonna set my alarm scroll down to cover this this hallway. Like, this little 20-foot cube right here. Okay. That's where I would have placed and... my belt buckle. And then I would have kept going, and then I would have returned my. Yeah, belt but see, I feel like a scroll is much simpler than a belt. But you know, you have to continuously buy the scroll. Yeah, but I also don't have to wear a belt. I always wear my belt though. Might as well use it for something, you know. Yeah, but you can enchant it with like, uh, make it a giant strength belt. It gives me plus two strength or something. Anyway, <laughs> I'm coming up to these. Uh, I'm rounding the corner here. I'm gonna gauge those rats' reaction. I'm gonna see if they react to me. <clears throat> I, don't, I know there's not a luck, but uh, make make a luck roll. Luck roll. Ooh. They see you covered in rat blood and aggro toward you. All right. In that case, I'm fucking hucking some darts. Okay. Who's at the closest one? Both hit. hit. Total Bad love. God one. damn. Oh, it kills him, but still. It kills the first one, at least. <laughs> yep. Wyatt, it is your turn. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna look at Doug and be like... Doug and be like... 30 silver ahead. 30 silver ahead. And, silver ahead. and uh, I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna make a three section staff attack as a 10. Does that hit? No. 10 does not hit? Okay. Uh, Still gonna take the extra D4. I'm sorry, I need to roll for it first. D4 hits, so that's two damage. On this guy right here. Okay. Uh walk up and just want funk. <laughs> does okay, kinda of like so kick him in the shit, give him a little rat shin. <clears throat> hmm. Go ahead. Does that extra D4 count as as Flurry of blows or no? No, flurry of blows takes a key. No. Takes a yeah, because you get two extra attacks with flurry of blows, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, you just get the. What? Right, they try to bite you and they both miss. Back to Jake. Um. Yeah, I'm moving thirty feet. Like right there. 
Fucking two darts at that fella. That hits. That hits. If you hit both, I'm just gonna kill him because the minimum you could do is like fucking, fucking yeah, what, ten damage? Yeah, it's plus yeah, so plus four for each. So yeah. Okay, <clears throat> uh, back to Wyatt. I'm going to high kick this guy. Like, like a cheerleader? Yeah, but yeah. with force and like karate. karate. Like a really strong cheerleader. Yeah. yeah. Much <sighs> cheerleader. I believe that hits, right? It's plus five. Is, what's your, is, it, is it plus five? Is your fucking kick speed, plus, or kick fucking attack plus five? Is there such a thing as there kick? I just assume it's unarmed strike. Yeah, I mean, strike. your foot is, your foot is armed. My foot is armed? It's foot is armed? Your, your foot is foot literally armed? not armed. How foot is, is my armed? foot armed? You wear shoes. I don't wear oh shoes, God. though. It's just it is unarmed. He, he, oh, he literally <laughs> doesn't wear shoes. <laughs> but it is unarmed. He's, out, he's out pettied your petty. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that hits. Okay. Tastes real metal y. Let's stop breaking that. That is nice. A damage. Hey, a, a single damage. That is four damage in total. You kind have harmed him. A little bit. Oh, wait, does my... Hmm. He missed the bite attack. Jake, your turn. I'm... Uh... Wait, would my unarmed strike have a bonus? If it's your... Un it's whatever your unarmed strike is. Bonus damage, yeah. <laughs> if you hit one, you kill him. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking hucking darts. Uh... I'd be darts. Like, uh, yeah, without, they both hit. Uh, without the app, how would I determine what the bonus damage is? Okay, so what you're going to do, Wyatt, is you're going for damage. Go in the top right, click Edit Character. Mm -hmm. Swap over to where it says Melee Ability. Melee Ability. So like, like tab over one time to the right. Okay. See where it says Melee Ability? Yeah. Put it to dex. Put what? it to dex. Yeah, it was higher. Your, your dex is higher than your strength, right? They're the same. They're the same. But I'm using dex. Okay. The thing. dex. Yeah. What, whatever it is, then yeah. And then, and then you're going to click on the edit and then just pick. I think right now yours is a d4. There's like a table for it. D4. Yeah, so just put it d4 and then plus your, uh, your dexterity modifier. Phone. Would that just be Would D4, that four plus, D4 dex? plus dex? Whatever your dexterity modifier is, yeah. No, like, like, it, no, like, like, like the edit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like in that middle column, just dex. Oh. <clears throat> cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, whenever you do a just like a bonus action extra attack, um, oh, cool, it's plus three. Yeah. Well, so you know, if you, you attack unarmed, you get two attacks and then an extra bonus attack because you can attack with each hand. Yeah. Yeah. So that might be better than the quarter staff. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Yeah. But, uh, yep, I'm gonna cut the three heads off of those rats. For a total of 50 rat heads. <laughs> Very well. And then I'm still... Increase my number. I'm, I've got a counter. Too. I'm hightailing it towards these rats. And I'm not even gonna give them a chance to react. Once I get within 20 feet, I'm hugging darts. Things. 
I now see why there is a chest with the uh, fireball trap in it. What do I get? Huck and two dark set the first one. Okay. It, the rat is dead. Rat is indeed dead. Why My alarm spell hadn't gone off, right? Nope. Still, still good. Okay. Uh, me. Yep. Yep. Okay. Hey. I'm. Yeah. Running up to this one. one. Uh. Uh. You know what? No, I'm gonna run to the side of this one and then do a breath attack. Side of which one? Right here. Can you do that infinitely? Is that a thing you could do for, like forever? Is I don't know. Uh, I, don't, Actually, I, have no, I have no idea. Actually. Oh no. I oh, no. nope. I don't. Nope. It is once per short or long rest. Man's busting Man's it out five times in this fucking little area alone. Uh uh. So, yeah, just put me like. We're bringing back seven bring rats back real seven quick. Rats. <laughs> <laughs> they, they manifest little ghost rats in front of us. In fact, why oh. they have chewed through your bag of holding. No! Oh, God. The rat heads! No! <laughs> <laughs> Pools of blood just pouring out of it. Both of, what's the armor class? 12. Okay, both of this hit. That does not hit. Five damage. Pathetic. Five damage plus your bonuses. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, I have that now. Five damage. Eleven damage. It's gonna be. Oh yeah, you got it. You, you said it. Definitely eleven. Has died. It's so much more terrifying knowing you're just punching rats to death. Just. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna move you up to it instead of it up to you because, uh, well, it's easier for me. It missed! Yank, your turn. Darts. I just want to be staring this thing directly in its eyes as two darts thunk into its neck. Ooh, one dart thunk into hits. its neck. Wait, I'm gonna use one of my superiority die to add a d8 to that roll. Okay. So it dies. I think that's my last. I have, uh, yeah, it's a dice. And I'm taking their heads for a total of 53 rat heads. I'll I think I only have one. Su oh no, we took a long rest. Have we fought anything before the rats? Would we fight the scorpions? Yeah, but you guys took a long rest between them. Yeah, the we took a Okay, so I've, I've, I've got. Okay. Uh, I did, however, use my second wind. Decrease. Decrease. Uh, as you pop the corner, you feel your alarm spell go off. Uh. I'm saying fuck, 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 and I'm, I'm, we're booking it past the rats. We're going past the rats. I'm just trying to get out of here. But I am. You gonna, you gonna just, leave all those rats? You gonna leave all of them? I'm leaving all of them. That's thirty silver 50. ahead. It is, but that's a beholder, and uh, as someone who has worked extensively with criminal empires, I know that those things are the devil. But I am noink, noink, noink. I'm fucking gone. In fact, as you're running, that a that rat aggro's on you. It's now coming. That's fine. That's weird. I'm spending every point of movement to uh, get the fuck out of here. Okay. We have a friend. Rat Congo again. That way. I just imagine Fear's like, but those rats back here. I'm just like, no, 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 no. This is incredibly unhonorable, brother. No, 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 no. I'm gonna briefly get ready to fight, and then just see Doug keep running. I'm gonna go over. I'm leaving your ass behind. I don't care. I'm gone. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Bad juju, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju. Ah, I see, we hold them at the mouth of the cave. <laughs> I'm literally not responding. You just hear, no, 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 as I get farther <laughs> away from you. <laughs> as you pass by this area, you hear, I said, who the fuck 
goes there? It is no, me. no, 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 it is I, Fwer and Doug. I'm um, fucking. I'm, I'm. My head rotates 180 degrees. Like no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna perfectly describe ourselves. <laughs> I am Fwer. <laughs> My social security dragon. number is one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. We are currently taking refuge in the town of Botan. I need you to understand that the... there is a ladder at the end of this tunnel. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking high talented up that goddamn ladder. I'm using my acrobatic ability to fucking hand, like, run up, do a handstand, and then launch myself up to kick myself up to the fucking manhole. Okay. Uh, you are going to need to roll just so you don't get hit. Both of you. Both. I'm uh, going to bounce on what? the sidewalls. Just a d20. Ten. Jake, you make it. Ten. Why you make it? Okay. And uh, yep, I'm running straight to the guild the entire time. No, 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 no. <laughs> Brother, are we going to hold them at the gates of Botan? Where are we going? No, 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 no. Okay, a you're at the floating guild. eye and a bunch of rats. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't think that a construct could be out of breath, but you hear like the wind bag, <laughs> in, but my little wind bladder, air bladder, and my thing is going. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I, I'm busting human. in, covered in rat blood, and I'm just like. <gasps> <gasps> the guild girl's like, well, how'd it go? Beholder down there, man. What did you tell me about the beholder? She's gonna be like, oh, geez, a beholder. We didn't know about that. Did you I'm kill gonna... it? No. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna perk up real quick at the thought of more money, and I'm gonna give like a like a like a grand entrance to Fear. I'm like, show him. I'm gonna like sling the bag from uh, uh, over my shoulder. Like, kind of like Santa, and just slam it on the desk. Well, we're not giving them the bag. It's, it's your bag of holding, yeah, so you yeah. need to, like, dump them. I open them. it, and 53 <laughs> rat heads fall out. <laughs> <laughs> of this tiny yeah, bag, tiny. like, pouch. Ouch. <clears throat> like, that was unnecessary. We didn't need those in here. But, <laughs> per 30 silver per, I did say that. So, like, you know, we'll get you, uh, we'll get you paid with 159 gold. <sighs> who and I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. Do you know who requested such a uh, mission? Oh, just just the the. Uh, oh my God! It's not a mirror in this one, is it? It's a the town's lord. Hey, Mark. Town's lord. Yeah, tell him he's a real asshat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna. Uh... Yeah, so that, that's 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 me. I've just thought of it. That's my little backstory. That's the that's the assassination mission I fucked up on when I was as I was trying to assassinate a beholder and I royally fucked up and it like fucking blasted me. And so I am now terrified of beholders more than a usual person, and though a usual person should be very terrified. Well, I'm gonna take. You said the 159. So split between us, what's what 78. Seventy-seven gold each. And, uh... I'm going to... Hmm. Hmm. Is there a tailor in town? Uh, there's an armor smith. That'll work. <clears throat> I uh I can't equip my level two armor yet because I had to have it integrated into me. Okay. I'm go to him. Okay. I'm like, hey, hey boss. My name's Doug, and uh, 
during a recent adventure, I acquired some some fancy schmancy duds. I was wondering if you'd mind uh, helping me integrate them and do a little few alterations for me. No, so, uh, I don't uh, quite know what you mean by integrate. I, I, I'm going to say... The construct part, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. <clears throat> I could technically do it myself. I just uh, I want to support the local economy, you know what I mean? I feel like... Uh-huh, uh, uh-huh. I enjoy the it, finer things in life. I feel like if I can, you know, if I can afford the best, I'm going to get the best, you know? Is it like I just got to nail it into you? Yep, you just got to attach it to me at certain points, like, uh, you know, basically, like, where a belt would be, like, the leather is going to be, like, stapled to my legs, and, like, the <laughs> shoulder pads are, like, stapled, they're, like, bolted down, the arm guards are going to be, like, stitched into my my outer parts. Neat. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Um, uh, you know, I'm gonna give him like five gold or whatever. Uh, it's only gonna cost him some nails and some staples, so like you know, yeah. Really, uh... Mostly for the time. But uh, yeah, I just, I just want to look fancy when I do it. I want to kind of a status thing, you know. Mm-hmm. What kind of alterations you dread I have done? Uh, well, and I'm gonna tell him, like, I'm, I want, like, little pockets and shit for all my darts, you know? Mm. I want, uh... You want, like, a little, uh, little fucking ammunition belt? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have some of those I will be willing to part with for about two gold. I will happily provide that two gold. Uh, it will also have to be, however, you know, melded to me. <clears throat> no. And I can put my little specialty darts in that. Keep, I'll keep my standard darts in my, my little arm chambers and the, my fancy darts in those. Yep, okay, so everything is mounted to you. Nice. It takes a few hours. I just I did not pick up the darts I threw. I'm going to say I threw 20 darts, probably. Something like that. Something like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I really need to do in town. You got anything you're shooting for, Wyatt? Uh, no. I was thinking oh, no. we should, uh, uh, long rest, you know, save the night. Because I assume it's somewhere d- dark, right? Yeah. Let's go back to the guild real quick and see if there's any other quests that they have that might be interesting for tomorrow. I was thinking we, we kind of have... head back to, uh, head back to town tomorrow. Because I'm sure by the time we get back, then our, our stuff will be there. Yes. Although I will no longer need the stuff, so so we can go back. I don't, I don't need the armor I made because I have a better armor now. Mm. But yeah, we can go back. Maybe our uh, fancy schmancy darts will be done. Mm. Uh, can I like get a carriage to there? Since we're going from big town to big town. Yeah. Sure. Save us a little time and potential bandit attacks while we're kind of disheveled. Did we get any XP oh, did we from get that? Any XP? oh yeah, experience from that. <sighs> nice. I mean, you say fucking. We did kill fifty rats. <laughs> Fifty-three to be exact. Fifty-three rats. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna split it in half. It'll be five hundred. Okay. You know, I just realized I only gave them 52 rat heads. I'm keeping Steve's head. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, you and, can uh, either talk with. <gasps> While we're in town, is there someone who might be able to do some taxidermy? <laughs> <laughs> Ratsidermy. Ratsidermy. There, there, is an, there is an animal trade in town. I'm going to go there. And I want to bring them Steve's head. <laughs> I want to go to the animal trade. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> you walk up, you see a bunch of cages with a fucking just variety of animals. What kind? A whole bunch. You got you got your rats, your vultures, your spiders. <gasps> rats, you say? <laughs> Indeed, there are rats. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to whoever the proprietor is. One sec. And I'm gonna s- okay. You got you got your you got your 
Wolves. A warg. Warg. warg? They're Giant like really. Losers? Wargs are like uh, imagine. Oh, that's cool. Like ex that's extremely the aggressive. It's like yeah. From Lord like of the Rings. Spiders. Yeah, they're just extremely aggressive. Fucking. A single saber tooth uh, tiger. Wolves. Two thing, scorpions? Large scorpions? Uh, tiger. Giant, giant vulture. Oh. <clears throat> uh, uh, some ravens. ravens. <clears throat> some dogs. Dog. They're like a mastiff. I'm going to be walking up and down, like, admiring all, like, that huge pack. Like the predators, right? I'm like, yes, they're strong, they're powerful. <laughs> yes, yes. With a bleeding rat head in your arms. Oh yeah, they're they're all gonna be like sniffing at me and shit because I've got a bleeding rat head. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get to the rat. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the proprietor. I'm gonna be like, hello, sir. I have two questions. Mm, ask away. Hey, how much would it cost to get that uh, beautiful rat specimen over there? Uh, that'll be a solid twenty-five gold. Done. Second question. Can you stuff this rat head for me? <laughs> Completely unrelated. I guess, I guess we can. It's weird. Okay. Can but you, like, sure. mount it on a plaque and, like... Yeah, we, we can do plaque time? mountings. I would like it to say Steve, my one and only. Very well. It will take us, I don't know, about two hours. And uh, can, Do you also have a collar? <laughs> yes. Can you agree what size? with uh, the rat size? Yes. And his name shall. And I want you to engrave it with Steve Two. Okay, all of that will cost you an extra seven gold. Done in a heartbeat. I'm fucking. I'm handing him forty. I'm ecstatic. I don't even care. How much is that a uh, saber tooth over there? That is about a thousand gold. Mm. And how much is a wolf? 500 gold. 500. Is is that already tame? It depends on the person. What the fuck is a cranium rat? That sounds terrifying. Oh uh, no. They do psychic damage. And mm -hmm. they come in swarms. Oh. Nope. Could I maybe see uh, if I'm compatible uh, with this wolf before I... Pay 500 gold. I mean, like, it'll be tame enough to handle, however, wolves don't quite like dragons. Oh, really? Oh, really? Is, is that so? Is that, is that, so? was that statement that, that, racially motivated? Hmm. Is it because I'm a dragon? Because I'm a dragon? No, it's because you're a lizard person, and wolves inherently don't enjoy cold blooded things. I'm gonna start crying. Um, I'm naming him Steve too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm just like I'm in the corner just petting him and kind of like loving on him like I'm like laying next to him. <laughs> like what are they... the friendliest rat ever? It's just like ah oh, yes, yep. this is my owner. Essentially a fucking dog. <laughs> what yes. It's like wa it's like wagging his little rat tail just fucking. Yes. What uh, what other animals are there? You got the saber tooth, the yeah. wolves. A giant vulture, some ravens. Ooh, like uh, as I'm. The giant vulture will take will cost about two hundred and fifty gold. And is that? Do they take a liking to dragons? I mean, they're vultures. If you feed them, they're they're friendly. Okay. As you like, as I'm playing with uh, Steve too, I'm gonna rotate my head uh, two hundred and seventy degrees to look at White as he's talking to the person, and I'm laying on the ground. I'm still playing with him. Like I'm still. Just, I'm like, <laughs> if you get something. That fucks with my rat. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Steve too is my baby. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm gonna flip my head back around and just like you hear me like coochie coochie coo like just fucking <laughs> coddling the rat. Giant vulture. Are the ravens of the giant sort? Nope, they're just regular ravens. Regular ravens. By the way, I don't want like a combat pet. You know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to be a ranger with it. I just I want Steve. He's my little buddy. I absolutely want a combat pet. I feel like that fits my character perfectly. To play a ranger. 
Combat Raven. Combat Raven. Taking people's eyes out. I kind of want the Vulture. I want the Vulture to become the the missile. And I'm going to throw <laughs> my Oh my god. <laughs> throw, I hope you know that if you Vulture fucked with my rat, I am going to throw it like a dart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hand over. Is the vulture big enough for me to ride on? No. Oh. So yeah, <laughs> six imagine foot, a condor. You're telling me the six foot seven golden dragon can't ride on a vulture? Lame. Correct. <laughs> so that's exactly what he was saying. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hand over 250 gold. Um. And say, I would like the vulture. I would also like. Uh enough food for about a month with the vulture and he's gonna look at me like well we got, we just sold our last rat so oh, i'm gonna I look see. at you with such fury <laughs> like such rage and i'm gonna slowly bring out the pipes and just like look at you like don't don't you fucking <laughs> dare don't you fucking do it Actually, if there's ever a needed reason I need to, to start a riot, I'm just fucking coming here and playing the goddamn pipes. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker's got dog ass for wisdom. Um, um, is there a? Uh... Uh... We got snakes. No, no, no I'm, I'm no, getting, no, I'm, I'm getting the vulture. The vulture is mine. The vulture is mine. I know. For to food, feed the vulture. Oh, I see, I see. It will cost you about one gold piece. Okay. Okay. Ten, ten to eat God about damn. once a day. Eat about once a day. Eat okay, a day. I'll take thirty snakes. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> it's not like you had a bag of rat heads that you just <laughs> dumped in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> be a great time to go back to the guild and just be like, "Hey, you guys still got those?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm adding. <laughs> Create item snakes quantity thirty. Hey Jordan, how much would like a cart cost me? Like if I wanted to get like a a cart. A cart part? Uh, like a... they're, they're pretty cheap. They're like either a hundred gold or less. They're like a covered wagon. <clears throat> Covered wagon in a horse, I suppose, or some some sort of like a uh, pack animal, like a driving. A animal. horse is gonna run you about fifty gold. Okay. There Jake, is a literal fucking table Steve, for this. Right? His name is Steve too. Okay. My vulture's name is Steven. I immediately hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, how much you say the covered wagon would cost? Oh, hey, poison darts. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, I, I put the suit. The, I put the super strong poison dart as a uh, mega super duper amazing awesome poison dart in my inventory. I probably use some regular poison darts as well. Oh, cool! Giant vultures understand common. Sorry, there's a literal table for like. Parts and shit, and I'm trying to find it. This is now Victor the gotcha. Vulture. Nice. <clears throat> you said if you cast a spell enough, it becomes permanent eventually, right? Yeah. How, if I wanted to cast the Beast Bond spell on him enough to be permanent, <laughs> how many times would I have to cast it? On a rat you already own? Yes. Because for beast spawn, they have to be they have to be friendly or charmed. Once a day for a week. Oh my god! Yes. I'm gonna have this idea pop in my head, and I'm bolting out, and I'm fucking I'm going to the little library. <clears throat> and Steve's trotting along past me. He's like, dun, 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 dun. he's like, I'm just I'm just gonna say for a cart and a horse is gonna run you about 150 gold. Because I can't okay. find it, and I don't care enough. Are those things I could obtain in town? Yes. Okay. Uh, would he be the one to sell them? The animal trader would sell you the horse. The cart would come from... Isn't there a cart maker back in the other city? Like, that's like what he does in Northern yeah. Oasis? Yeah. yeah, we're heading yeah. back there anyway, so I can just get the horse here and then... Yeah, 
I apparently don't have a place that uh, fucking specifically does that. I assume um, the fucking it would just come with a horse though. I'm going to also ask if there is um, any like adornments for my vulture. No, they don't do that here. No. no. Yeah, I, I'd like say no, a collar, like, collar is probably the extent. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a collar? Vulture size, sure. Yeah. It costs two gold. Victor. Minus two. Got it. Uh, where, where do you think a saddles would like saddles would be made? Would it be this guy or nah? Probably not this guy. For your armor, armor, maybe. Smith. Armor Smith. Oh no. For no, the for the horse I'm getting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So why the places I need to go are the I need to go to the library. And I need to go to a general store, and I need to go to the uh, uh, armorsmith. Where do you need to go? <clears throat> uh, I'm going to the armorsmith. Okay. So let's go to the armorsmith first. I'm taking my horse and my rat. Mm okay. Um, the carriage will just i uh, just going to show up. Yeah, I would say it, it can mean, Yeah. The market's probably where I'm just gonna have it fucking be from. Yeah. All right, you're at the I mean, if anyone. I'm gonna say, hello, sir. I'm uh, back. I've got a little repeat business for you. I need a saddle for my horse here. Okay. And I mm. also. I swear to A little bit of a. There's a whole goddamn chart for this. A little custom job for you. I think he could make a little uh and I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up Steve too. Like I'm turning around and pick him up. And I'll be like, this is my little guy, this is my little friend. Do you think he could make some sort of like uh you ever seen like on motorcycles, little compartments they have for their dogs where it kinda sits them up? <laughs> I want that on the back of the horse. It's like attached to my saddle. Uh, it's like sometimes his little legs get a little tired and you know. You just you want, want you want a rat seat for a horse saddle. Yes. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like hold hold out Steve too, but like you want to pet him. There, there it is. If I get a I shoulder it. pad, would that count as? Armor? Okay. Hold on. Why? Shut up. Okay. A horse for dra a draft horse will be fifty gold pieces. Okay. A riding horse is seventy five gold pieces. Uh, a camel is 50 gold pieces. An elephant is 200 gold pieces. Ooh, dude, that would be such a power move. A war no, horse no, no, no. is 400 gold pieces. Could I get... Would a riding horse be able to pull the cart? They're not looking for, like, mounted combat or anything. I just I'm need something that I can ride in a pinch. Uh, you have to have, to have an elephant here. Okay, so carts or, are a cart, cart or a carriage, because those are different. Carriage. A carriage <laughs> is 600 pounds. You would need two riding horses to do it, or two draft horses. You would need two of either. I'm going to ask if they have any Because a draft horse's stock. max carrying capacity is fucking 540 pounds. So you need two so horses I, either way. For a would, I be able to, would I be able to ride a draft horse? I mean, I guess. I don't really know like, why what's there's the, a what's fucking the... different... I don't know why there's a different distinction. I'm assuming just because the draft horse has a higher carrying capacity, right? Yeah. But regardless, two riding horses would be enough to carry the carriage. Yes. How much does the carriage cost? 100 gold pieces. Okay, so I'm spending uh, 250 to get two riding horses and a carriage. Yes. Do they have an elephant in stock? <laughs> Saddles! No, they do not. Huh. Saddles. Saddles. You have exotic military pack and riding. And then you have saddle bags. I would say just riding. A riding one will cost you 10 gold pieces. So that is two of them, so that will be 20 gold pieces. 20 gold saddle pieces bags. plus... Mm -hmm. Plus a rat for each. Plus a little rat one. I'm going to charge you for saddle bags for the rat one. Those are four okay. gold pieces apiece. Minus 28. Okay. 
Okay, okay, yep, 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 yep. Now, yep. if you were buying a shit ton of feed, it is five copper pieces for a day's worth for one horse. Okay, so that's ten copper per day. I want to buy at least a month's worth. So what is that? One, so one days. silver a day, so 30 silver. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll spend that to get the the things. Horse skeleton, Jesus Christ! Hold on, my fucking uh, my controller's dying. There's this uh, this uh account that has been popping up recently, and it's called Extreme Mormons. Oh God! <laughs> it's just BMX. <laughs> <laughs> this is poorly executed BMX tricks. And also preaching the Bible. Nice. Uh, okay, Meg. Okay, so the carriage. Two horses, carriage, saddles for each, rat saddles. <clears throat> 30 days food. I'm going to rename this backpack to Garage, just to put stuff in there. Interesting. So on the trade goods thing? Mm-hmm. They combine things oh, as like here's the cost, and then it's like what what that cost gets you. Like one like, cock piece cock gets piece. you a pound of wheat. Five cock hmm. pieces, a pound of salt. Two cock pieces cock. is a pound of flour or a chicken. Nice. Hey, why pieces is one square yard of silk or a cow. Why, how do you drag? I'm trying to drag the carriage thing into the carriage box. Like, I've made a backpack, called it carriage. Mm -hmm. How do you actually drag it into a different pack? Okay, so you see the, the circle to its left? <clears throat> left. Mm -hmm. Press and hold that. Oh, okay, okay, up. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um. I'm just gonna make something. Is there, like, an actual item for feed? I don't know. Jordan? I have no idea. That this is a uh, just for the record. All these prices are page one fifty seven of the player's handbook. Okay, you know there's there's a thing for feed. There's a thing for feed. I'll get sixty of them. And uh, what do you think a rat's favorite food would be? What is Steve's favorite food? I guess I'll eventually... I'm also going to go to the baker and just buy some bread and stuff. I'm a little rat guy. I mean, you can go to the market and just buy stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to the market and just buy bread. Like, whatever... I'll spend 50 silver on bread. Or I guess I could just do feed again. You know what I mean? Like, just more feed. Yeah. Yeah. Or... For one gold piece, you can get a pound of ginger or a goat. <laughs> I'm not gonna feed this rat nothing but ginger. Holy shit! <laughs> it's gonna have such bad diarrhea. <laughs> you I'm know what? Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Snakes. Venomous so keep snakes. in mind, I have never, I've never eaten food before, so I don't know really how food works. So I'm gonna buy him like some fucking steaks. I'm gonna buy like. Steaks Hold on. and cheeses. There, there are. If you go to the player's handbook, page mm -hmm. one fifty-eight. Mm -hmm. Here, here are some options: a bread loaf for two copper pieces, like a fresh one. Mm -hmm. A hunk of cheese for a silver piece. You also got some meat chunks. Yeah, all the I'm gonna like. Yeah, I'm gonna stuff. spend a gold. 
on just 30 days worth of like bread, meat, and cheese. Okay. okay. Just call it feed, because I don't want to have to fucking add all that shit. But that's what he's eating. The man is eating good. I'm gonna look at the steak and be like, dude, they be like, dude. We like nothing but the best for my little baby. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out 30 <laughs> snakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making sandwiches for my rat. You're just like, yeah, hey, he's a fucking snake. <laughs> I know but, uh, my, after... my Victor's taste. His palette of taste. And then after that, I need to go to the uh, library. Okay. I enjoy this song. It's very screamy. You're at the library. library. Alright, and I'm gonna uh, walk in with uh, Steve 2 in tow. Okay, uh, they're gonna be like, that's weird, but okay. I'm gonna, hello, this is my new best friend, and I would like to talk to him. I'm gonna Can stare I at get... you blankly. I react not at all. <laughs> I am going to be like, can I get seven scrolls of Beast Bond, please? That's 50 gold piece a piece. Mm -hmm. Discount, we will knock it down to 45. Okay, so 45 times 7, 280, 315. That's good to me. All right, I'm gonna haste to take them, and I'm gonna immediately turn around and go, "Bam, bam, beast bond." <laughs> and so Steve can't talk to me, but he can, so he can can convey, like I can talk to him, and he can understand me. But he can only convey simple emotions and like general ideas to me, and be like, "Steve, you're my new best friend." And in my mind, I'm just gonna picture like he's just gonna start da he's gonna start dancing a little bit. He's gonna like. <laughs> Just kind of like shake back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> tails in the start wagon. I'm gonna be like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, Victor, you're my new best friend, and he's gonna put out a talent and request another snake. Good... Another snake. <laughs> <laughs> it is a vulture. It is a little piece of shit. <laughs> snake. Like please. a white. Like <laughs> why it's character. I'm a lawful good monk. Ignore the uh, giant, like, <laughs> biblical <laughs> equivalent of death behind me as I throw <laughs> live snakes at him. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing but honor and glory for the battlefield. <laughs> Here's another snake, <laughs> monk. <laughs> oh, we like know it, that like vulture is slurping him up like fucking spaghetti. Oh, yeah, dude. My rats can look at him with disgust, like, ah, so uncivilized. <laughs> and he takes out a fork and knife, just cutting open a piece of Oh my god, yes. Since I can't eat, I'm gonna have him taste, like, every city we go to, I'm gonna try to find the best place to eat. <laughs> and he's gonna be the person that eats. Man said, so you know what's <clears throat> ratatouille? Exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he should be under I'm your hat. Oh my god, he is massive though. Like he is like two or three feet. <laughs> can you like, oh. imagine wearing no. a fucking rat with a hat? I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go back to the armorsmith and I'm gonna say I want a backpack like a baby Bjorn for my rat. Oh, did we already visit the armorsmith? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that whole thing. No, I absolutely. I need a fucking baby Bjorn for my rat. I want to wear him when his feet get tired. Very well, uh, just for the fact that it's basically going to be straps in the fucking seat, it's just two gold. I yes, would like I have a... spent... Sorry, go ahead. I have spent about a thousand gold on this goddamn rat. The only reason I bought the carriage is so if his legs get tired, he can, like, sleep in the carriage. I would like to buy a like designated five. perch for Victor. Uh, to get, a, get, like, a falconer glove. Yeah. A falconer glove you get like will a give you a solid fucking one gold. A falconer glove like a little... and like a pad on my shoulder that doesn't count as armor, yeah. but like just like so as talons have a little like nice like scratching post, like kind of. And like you, like like you can get like a, get like a hitch for the back, of, <coughs> the very back of the carriage, and you can just kind of rest on that. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like all things. These things can be made. Alright, fucking, that'll cost you a good 15 gold for all of them. Minus 15, and I'm just gonna create a thing that says Vulture Accommodations. <laughs> Vulture Accommodations. <laughs> I want you to know, Jordan, if something happens to this goddamn rat, I'm going to burn the world to the ground. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm emotionally I will pledge, invested in Victor. I will pledge my soul to any eldritch being that listens to fucking get vengeance on my goddamn rat. The description is things that make Victor comfortable. Yeah. I like to imagine... You gotta, save, you gotta save the poison dart for just whatever fucking like, harms the rat. <laughs> yep. Just and I'm going to... What was I just going to say? Fuck me. I completely lost my train of thought. But you know, I, I literally bought the carriage so that he can have a place to rest. On our journeys. Very well. Are you guys crafting anything else? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. We're the armor smith, right? We're the armor smith, right? Yeah, we're the armor smith. Now get like... Talons, like metal, like talon, metal, like talon things to increase. Yeah, dragon claws. No, for Victor. Victor. Oh. Oh my God! You're turning him to the fucking bird from Elden Ring. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, not nice for me. Not nice for me. Please. <laughs> Traumatize. No, just like like gloves, but metal and sharp. I feel like that's much more of a blacksmith thing. So like across the street, but uh, most likely, yeah. I don't, I don't get that. I'm not gonna follow him. I'm just fucking playing in the street with my rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at the blacksmith? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. <sighs> you can have a. Could you please craft your finest, your finest vulture glove of knife. Knife. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just tape a bunch of knives together, my guy. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's fine. As long as it does more damage, does and more damage. as long as it's comfortable for Victor. And I'm gonna stare at him I'm dead in the face and be like, Because you wouldn't make anything uncomfortable for Victor, would you? And I'm gonna toss Victor another toss snake. Victor. <laughs> <laughs> like to admit, you, you do have a bag of live snakes. Like <laughs> 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 Man's gone through his thirty days worth of food in like five minutes. <laughs> but uh, I like to imagine that Victor is like a moody emo teenager. He's like, Shut up, God, do you fuck a snake? Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Akasha. Yeah. Okay, about fifty gold, and then they'll boost it from I think what the vulture does a d six. Oh. There's a D8. I think the D6 was the beak. Uh, melee, uh, melee attack is 2D4 attack plus is 2. That's the beak. And then mm -hmm. the talons is 2D6 talons plus 2. Alright, make them 2D8s. I'm gonna imagine you're like, hey, you wanna get something for, uh, for Steve 2? I'm just gonna look absolutely fucking appalled. Like, I would ever put him in any sort of danger. <laughs> Absolutely the fuck not. How do I add that? It says hit die 3d10 plus 6. I think that's a Hit die is health. Combined. Hit die is health. Oh. How do I edit the damage? Probably gonna have to hold long press on him and then hit edit. The same way you name them. No, like, I'm in the edit like, area. The edit area. Do you see where his attacks are? No. no. Sorry, I'm fighting the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Yeah. Never mind, I'm no longer fighting the Dra Draconic Tree Sentinel. Uh, <laughs> no. no. Absolutely not. Uh, edit. Yeah, you see his, uh, you see actions? Add action. And then add attack. And then you can fill in the attack information. Action. Oh, action. There it is. Action. There it is. Yep. 
So my rat has, has legendary actions. Your rat has legendary actions? Hell yeah. In, in, invulnerable to everything. Power of love. So it's gonna be 2d8, right? <laughs> yes. Or I think a d8 for each thing, yeah. God damn, that fucking bird is stronger than I am. Oh my god, didn't, didn't do Giant vultures are right? fucking threatening. But they have very little health. Is that 22? Oh, is there a vulture armor? Oh, is there a vulture No, no. It's a bird. No, no we're close. We're putting armor on a bird's kind of a... Counterintuitive. Mm. <gasps> I don't want armor, but I know we're making a stop on the way back to fucking Oasis. Getting a hat. I'm getting a fucking hat. <laughs> <laughs> it is, however, 12.10, and I have work tomorrow. Understandable. Can so I'm going to call it there. Travel back to the, back to the, like, inn or something. Like a tavern. Yeah, be whatever. I'm just going to leave it here. Yeah. Because it's not like it's going to fucking go anywhere overnight. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go off. All the little gnomes are going to move it around. Oh, I'll talk I will to you, talk to you later. Bye-bye.